Yeah, his hands yeah. are very uh, vivid and boobity. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I tried. I tried. I tried. <laughs> I'm in a spicy mood today. So, uh, guys, welcome back. Uh, Luna, you are not Italian. You cannot sing the song of my people. No, I'm not. I meet the ball. I'm Irish. <laughs> Is, is that like when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie? Is that's that amore. That's, that's amore. That's amore. That's amore. That's a go. Hey, everybody. My name is Mike, and this is the How I Nerd channel. And we are here to do TTRPG things. And we have a level one hype train going on. What did I miss? Hi hype. Oh, shit, guys. Oh, not anymore. Nice. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So rad. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, Mike, uh, LP's already calling you out. <laughs> she oh. knows. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know the cast can't see it right now, but I can't. No, I can see it now. On oh, the Dunkin' Donuts again. Is that your Sunday tradition now, or what? Um, like little, I needed some pep juice, and I'd rather. I thought rather than railing lines of cocaine before the show started, I thought I would just go get some coffee. Well, cocaine's arguably more healthy for you. It is. Arguably. Arguably. <laughs> what? Arguably. You'll burn calories. <laughs> what? <laughs> On cocaine. I think I want to debate this with you. Yes. <laughs> Heard it he from did. a friend who. <laughs> Heard it from a friend who. <laughs> Read it somewhere on the internet. Oh my God. <laughs> it wasn't a meme on Facebook, so you know it's got to be truth. Oh, it's totally oh, yeah, true. Totally. Hey, level yeah. one complete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey. Look at that. So we are here to play uh, Pathfinder tonight in episode 60. I'm sorry, 49, I believe. 49. Uh, <laughs> you wanted to say 69. <laughs> this, my brain was like, yeah, yeah. Nice. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're playing Pathfinder. We are adults. I have Tarkov open, Mike. What uh, the heck, dude? We could, uh, you know what? We can switch I right we now. I Path of Exile today. I want to play with OU, Luna. I, I, would, I, I would do that. Um, you guys should come play with me sometime. I bought a new game today, too. I bought a new game. It's called Hell Let buy? Loose. Good or game. As, or as you kept messaging me earlier today, no, no, no. Hell Let Loose. Heal. <laughs> <laughs> Heal. <laughs> no, like, like he will. <laughs> yeah. Heal. Oh, Heal Let Loose. He messaged me. He's like, he's like, what are your thoughts on Hell Let Loose? And you were the drunk one. My phone LL. was apparently drunk yeah. at the same and time. And I'm like... I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You're like, Google it. And I Google it. And I'm like, nothing's coming up. I'm like, you mean hell let loose? He's like, whatever. I'm like, I, I'm like, whatever, grammar, grammar, please. He typed it twice. Well, it's I my phone. It. He kept on autocorrecting. I kept on typing hell again. let loose. I kept on typing hell let loose. And then it was, it was like, no. Nope. It keeps, it keeps sending me hell let loose. Just like my like, phone. What? At no point in my life do I ever mean ducking. <laughs> no, no one knows. Yeah, I got that one yesterday. No, no. Exactly, Luna. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret with, with my phone. Um I, I, I gotta be a rebel, Dottie. So I turned off auto capitalization and I turned off autocorrect and um same um the thesaurus and spell check on my phone. I like to live dangerously. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like ye oldie days. Yeah. Oh. So you're like, uh, well, why, uh, e, e, uh, e, you know, you hit in the button like seven times. To <laughs> three times. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Three, 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 four, four, two, two, oh, two. What is going on? Yeah. T, T9. I, I love wow. T9. Holy cow. Yeah, guys, you guys are. These are awesome. Going on. Right. Beep. Um, this train. The first person, actually, you've already We're done We're running a train on chat. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Dabdathas has already donated 200,000 bits. Mike oh, tells shit. me he'll let loose, so you got to be careful. I will just, let yeah. loose. You yeah, know. heard he it from a friend. Texted me twice today. <laughs> he'll let loose. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, how's everybody doing tonight? It is uh, Sunday night. We're going to be playing uh, Helmet Loose. Yes. Um, helmet Loose. Yeah. Um, yes. Darth Helmet. Darth Helmet. Or dark Dark Helmet was it? it was dark dark helmet. helmet. Dark Helmet. Yeah. There we go. Wolf's blood awesome. let loose after a bad night of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> and the morning after. Yeah, yeah. I just like to point out. I just want to point out something. Tiny Meteor has been subscribed to this channel for 24 months. What a fucking That's very cool. Like everybody, you guys are all rad for supporting us. But 24 months, he's been there from the beginning for me. Insanity, wow. insanity. I'm so sorry, Tiny Meteor. I can't believe you put up with this <laughs> guy thought, for two years. Yeah, I thought you would have gotten like bored of us by now. Jesus. 
Uh, at least Mike. I know the, the thing is sure. it means he's kept subscribing through all of our shows like every single one <laughs> <laughs> you the real MVP you know <laughs> we'll find the one that makes you leave don't you worry we'll get it uh Dave we'll it's, gonna it's gonna be the Star Wars show I know it's it. gonna be yeah. Dave take your shirt off and we'll lose 80 percent of our audience Ooh. I'm just gonna go deep V's is that okay yeah just, some we'll, we'll do okay. we'll do the, get some deep. scissors <laughs> I will mail you a new shirt right now if you got an obnoxiously <laughs> large finger shirt just I don't pretend have, nothing's wrong I don't have scissors but I do Chat. have a oh, dagger shoot. Chat. is that okay <laughs> Chat. Dude, what the fuck <laughs> if we get 20 more subscribers tonight Dab Dathos will cut his shirt open <laughs> Well, that, yeah, yeah, hold on. He'll rip it. He's like, wait a second, wait a second. I agree to this, all right? He'll flex while he does it too. Yeah, yeah and he'll look. He'll look at the camera longingly. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> but unsubbed. <laughs> Tiny meter, are you dropping that sub yet? I'd like to turn it. I'd like to turn it yeah, a little over it. a year at this point. So <laughs> Nate says, "Don't make me drop a random encounter." Oh, no. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, he's you, making me. Do you it. have to play Paul Hogan's music when he does that. So. Oh, that's true. That's fair. That's yeah. that's what fair. If, what if, so what oh, if I play it on bongos and we have um, mm -hmm. Mihai do an interpretive dance while he cuts his shirt off? Ooh. I like this plan. I think it's. I, uh, I think we're gonna have to go to a different website. I'll do it. This. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. I'm gonna for just you turn guys. off my camera and pretend <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go do like six shots of tequila before I do it, so I won't remember it. I mean, how I is mean, that different from the last two hours of your life? Fool, <laughs> you know, <laughs> shots <laughs> fired, man. I just and there's. I, uh, I've already drank four bottles of champagne today, so four <laughs> bottles of champagne. Yeah, dude. Why the fuck you, off? You, you talk about the sugar I hope they content. Were the, like, they were the small ones, right? Uh, seven, like the individual yeah, servings. No, no. Se he seven fifty. Seven from catering. Yeah. He, he quits meat instead. He substitutes all the carbs and sugar, sugar he can find. Yeah, eighty-five yeah. percent of his calories. And there were there were there were mimosas, so there were an orange juice, which was more sugar. Yeah. Oh my god, that was good. Jesus Christ, good times. You so drink four bottles of champagne, friend? Not entirely by myself. I mean, it was it was the majority me, but it wasn't entirely by myself. Yeah, some company. So. Uh, yeah, good friend of mine actually uh, just moved into town with her boyfriend, so uh, it was uh, exciting to know that I know someone around here now. So uh, uh, they yeah. don't like you anyway, though. That's fine. Okay, but yeah, we There's met like up. This and, guy uh, <laughs> seen amounts of champagne. Let's go there. All right, yeah. tiny meteor. What did you celebrate, Dave? Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Another day of being Sunday. alive. <laughs> he was obviously celebrating Tabletop Tavern. I mean, yeah. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anyway, I'm gonna have more coffee now. Thank you. <laughs> so what do you I, I uh, finally? Oh I'm wait, sorry, wait. I just want to say one, one real quick. Oh, that's such a nice cup. You spilled all that shit all over it, Dave. Uh, it's fine. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, I have got no smart comebacks. I'm too hungover. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Holy crap! Somebody clip that. <laughs> I have no comebacks. I got. I got nothing. I just. Can we get on with the show? <laughs> all right, guys. So episode forty-nine, uh, Legacy. It will begin tonight. Uh, Edabrix, how are you doing tonight? What's going on with you and what's going on with Edabrix at this moment? Uh, I am doing pretty well. I had a super low-key weekend. Um, I took Friday off from work and used it to get stuff done around the house. So I spent Saturday sleeping. Like, not even kidding. I woke up, I watched a little TV, and I fell back asleep for another three hours. So yeah, You had to take a break from that. that uh, I did. That it was very, very difficult TV watching. Yeah. Um, and, uh, no, today I, um, hung out with my daughter for a bit and, you know, we did some arts and crafts and I painted a rock to look like a D4. So that was fun. I saw the picture. And I know. <laughs> um, and yeah, other than that, I, uh, I got to have a nice little flashback of my younger years with my obsession with Sequest. A friend of mine dropped this hat in the mail to me over the, and it came on Saturday and I was very excited. Nice. That's awesome. Like I need to wear it. Um, so I've pretty much been wearing it all weekend because it just made me super happy. Good. Um, so yeah, so that's been good. Um, Eda bricks. Uh, I mean, I assume that she's still feeling a little bit uh, perplexed about the fact that she just encountered her brother in like this massively large city, but um yeah that's a thing so it is she's thing. hoping to to get a little bit more uh 
about what happened with the family and and that sort of stuff so we'll see yeah gunner what's going on with you and uh what's going on with well jack what's going on with you and what's going on with uh gunner so jack finally got his power bar in from uh isol fitness with the whole sponsorship with uh uh, lift evil which is pretty cool it's like uh black powder coated with like the gnarliest like most aggressive grip i've ever felt on a power lifting bar ever so it's really cool the problem is if i ever try to slip it and let it go it's going to tear open my palms like you know 80 grit sandpaper right but, but it's nice it's olympic weight it's very cool um i paid for it like at the very beginning of covid because i knew i was going to get stuck in the house without a gym um, so I finally got like a, a regular routine going. I got like seven full exercises in today. I had my protein shake, was just chilling. Um, figured it would get me hyped up a little energy before the show. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, get to start lifting again, even if it's just, you know, a little bit at home. Um, as far as Gunner, hmm. there's a cocky man in pajamas that threat that's threatening one of his best friend's brothers. Why did he not go through a wall? <laughs> We'll figure that out <laughs> on this episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Zab the thighs. What's up? Huh? What are you reading? Uh, just a book. Nothing, nothing special. What's it called? Uh, it's uh, how to talk to your cat about gun safety. Okay. You know? All right. Yeah. I, I, th I feel like that's a solid uh, thing for you to be doing right now. Oh, well, sorry. I just, you know, I just... I'm a little hungover, so I was just gonna get in some light reading, get my mind focused again. Light reading. <laughs> before before we moved on to dab to the sides, I'd like to point out that I just went to click in my channel, you know, in the chat channel for how I nerd to uh, to type something to the to the chat, and it's making me agree to the rules of the channel. Well, do you agree? No. I mean, changed them on you. Sorry. All right, shows <laughs> over. Everybody go home. No mics. Mike yeah. doesn't agree. I just I I just found that humorous. Dab right. Dabdathas, how are you doing and how is your character doing tonight? Uh, you know, I'm I'm doing better. I took a little power nap before the show, so uh I should be uh, in in decent shape now. And uh Round is a few shape. cups of coffee in me. Yeah. Round is a shape. It's it's a pleasant shape. It's uh very efficient as well. You know, you just roll me to my destination. Anyway, I mean, um <laughs> hey. I could just pitch you like a wall anchor. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, Davdathas is uh, he, he's starting to uh, he's a little nervous being in a new city. You know, he's a small kid in a big city, and just uh, a small town girl. Yeah, born and raised living in a lonely, lonely world. world. Living in a lonely world. Yeah. There you go. Took the midnight but, uh, horse, or uh, the the midnight ship on. Going on, on, back on. The <laughs> He's he's actually really excited that that we know someone like in town. Even like it's obviously Eda Brix's brother, but like he's just excited that you know. We have a connection there. We someone, know somebody we can trust. Yeah. yeah. You know who he is? He's just um, a city boy. <laughs> born and raised in South <laughs> Mega <Megamore>. Oh, <laughs> God. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry. No, you're not. Can you're I, not yeah, sorry at all. I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna He's give, not sorry at all. Not even a little. I'm sorry, eh? Uh, I'm going to give you a little insight great. to the life of uh, Mike here. Mama, Mama Nerd. And that's her favorite band of all time. Yeah, Ooh, Journey, that's not a bad choice. So. Journey, Mom's yeah. got taste, I dig. And I find it absolutely amazing when they when they replace Steve Perry with the other kid that he sounded exactly like Steve Perry. Yeah, I, I don't know if yeah. you guys know this. They replaced the singer, and he sounds exactly like Steve Perry. So crazy. Yep. All right, Devin, wow. I'm sorry I interrupted you. I'm not, but would you continue? No, please? I think it's fine. Fine. I, just, <laughs> I just wanted to mention all the singing is great for my hangover. Just, what yeah, do you like, mean? You're missing the auto tune, Mike. Oh wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What do you mean? Holy shit, we got T Pain on the show. Where is he? Oh man, I, just, I heard him. <laughs> I'm on a him. boat. <laughs> we we just got five thousand new viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. T T Pain on di on uh, how I nerd. Yeah, <laughs> we should put it in the title. <laughs> right. Tonight's episode, star uh, special guest T Pain. Yeah, but when people come in, we go, yeah, we don't actually have anyone called T Pain. We just have a character called T Pain. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually when everybody on the stream Ooh. tries to sing all at once. Dig. That's the pain. That's, That's the, the pain. bringing the pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dig. 
<laughs> Mihai, uh, what's going on with you? Oh, are you done, Davithas? Are you done? Yeah, no, I'm, please move okay. on. Okay. <laughs> please move on. Go back to your gentle reading there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I have to get to the chapter about talking to my cat about Satanism. So, yeah. Is, oh, there, is there a chapter I'll take in there? care of that one for you. Could you, it is, could you read it live on air? I, uh, maybe not tonight. It's going to take a little bit longer. I, I don't read good. So. <laughs> Uh, are are, are the, are the books are the books piling up there? Pill pillings up? Yeah. You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're pillings <laughs> up. They're yeah. pillings up. Okay, just yeah, checking. Yeah. <laughs> Is Mihai gonna bring? Yeah, I knew it. I could tell. <laughs> Look what I did. Oh, <laughs> I did. So I did this. Gosh, I thought you were going to put she it She is adorable and is looking at God, your camera and your so lighting like, what is this? Hey, baby. Yeah, so this oh, is my... my weekend. This and my car. I bought you... a BMW to work on. So you did the uh, M3? Uh, you did the M3 engine swap? No, but I, I will put a six cylinder in it eventually, I think. It's just got the stock uh, four cylinder 1.9. It's a three series though. She's hiccuping. It's probably adorable. <laughs> Everyone listen to my child hiccup. I hear it. Uh, Baby, look at, look at, the look the at daddy. Thing ever. I'm just going to throw her off screen now without looking. <laughs> 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 Whoa, alley -oop. All right. That gets out of here. 10 points right on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I would just like to, I would like to call attention to what Candle has said in chat. <laughs> Which is, uh, let me look, let me. <laughs> Uh, it's my it main bitch. bitch. That's right. <laughs> uh, super tight. Candleless, I'd just like to mention the fact that I haven't got a meme yet tonight, and I'm really offended. Ooh, call that. Candles, you gotta be careful with her. She's spicy tonight. She she already yelled at me today. Did she? Really? She what, played Jackbox games today, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I guess the next question is, what did you do wrong? <laughs> I decided to take a nap instead of play Jackbox games. Oh, you're, boy. you're a bad person. And then I decided that when I woke up, I was going to be the cat and make myself look pretty instead. And Candace, be, uh... let's be honest. Yeah. I laugh live on stream when you send memes over and I cannot hold it. So it's I, I just very like saddening. To, uh, I just like to read this this message, if I may. Uh, uh, I said, I got to feed the kitty and make myself look pretty. And she said, oh, sorry. Are you a weak ass non multitasker? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Savage. Yeah. Yeah. So be careful. Shit. Careful around her. Damn. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of sass that I get from her. That's great. Candlelist, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You're one of my favorites. <laughs> um, Mihai. So what's going on with you, man? Besides the baby, the ba bambina. Uh, that's a baby work car. That's uh, that's all the thing. And what's going on with your character? What is your character thinking at this point? Uh, he's thinking this place is just as sketchy as I remember. Huh. <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same, you know? Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey guys, my name's Mike. I am the dungeon master for this, uh, for this, I, I don't even know what to call it at this point, but, uh, this production, um, cluster, show. Cluster. C C show. Yeah. so many names. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like I said, uh, for me, um, I've just been working out. I uh, have some interesting life things coming. Um, more on that this week, later this week. Look for some uh, announcements uh, in my personal life. Uh, I'm really excited about a couple things that are coming up this week. So, um, But other than that, uh, I'm excited to get it back into the game tonight. Uh, this is, you know, it's a labor of love, uh, but it's, it's good therapy because I get to spin a, I spin a yarn for our players and you guys. Um, and you guys have been super supportive uh, throughout this last two months when it's been sporadic. So we really do appreciate that. Uh, you know, life's been a little hectic, um, but uh, we, we're doing our best to get through it and play every week. Um, and I need it. I need it for my brain. So my brain meat needs to uh, needs to be able to unwind and play this and uh, and be here with you wonderful people. So uh, thank you for your support. And uh, I, at this point in time, Cass, what am I going to need right now? Um, you chat. need to read, party. read the Another ice cream. I think I got some rolls coming. Oh, what kind of rolls? Ding. Red. Mm. I just bought some Kaiser rolls. So they're pretty good. I have some I, hamburger rolls downstairs. Kaiser Sose. <laughs> 
Not yet, Axel. We're, we're gonna do. Uh, we gotta. I need to get a roll from Dabdathoths at this point. He's the only one that hasn't rolled for. We need a roll like? lower than eight. That's all. Slacker. What kind of roll would you like? Uh, D twenty. Uh, D two. Oh, okay, I can do that. All right. Uh, and you I, did. I, and you wow. did low. So yeah. I mean, karma is rearing its head today. It's uh, not karma. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you are champagne. You are a bad it's person. Champagne. And I'd like to point out that uh, Tiny Meteor did redeem uh, an NPC in this game called uh, Thay Pain. Like, like Thea? Like, like Thea Pain? Yes, I saw that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, that's, that happened. Because her name's hard to pronounce, I'm just going to refer to her as T if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Cool. Uh, Death of Us, would you recount the community and the cast and myself ah, yes. uh, what happened two weeks ago in the Tabletop Tavern? All right. So two weeks ago in Tabletop Tavern 2, we uh, nope. see here the nope. team. Nope, nope, nope. You're which... mistaken. I know you're, not, I know you're hungover and having a rough day, but Tabletop Tavern. <laughs> Wah. Oh, you expect me to keep track of two shows? Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Tabletop Tavern 1. Uh uh, let's see. Oh, the boat. Okay, so we finished. Uh, we finished our uh, our fight uh, on the boat, and uh, I believe uh, against um, uh, Heron, Heron, uh, okay. who disappeared in a mist. And uh, afterwards, we uh, well, not me, so I shouldn't say we, but the the uh, the ship people. You know, I'm good with ship terms. Uh, the ship people, crew, crew, the and ship uh, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, and me high, they they fished up some some booty from the uh, the other destroyed ship, uh, which they found some booty nice booty booty rocking there. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So they got Yee. some nice booty. And uh, once we uh, arrived in Magnamar, we uh, we all got off the boat and we the ship ship right <laughs> ship people <laughs> and ship persons ship people Please. were they they escorted us off the boat and. They we walked to the uh, the merchant place. Yes, uh, and did we we told them that we had their goods and that it was down at the dock, and uh, that went well. And then across the street, we uh, <laughs> we met. Uh, How many times did we check the map? Oh, I, I checked it quite a bit. Well, like, okay. I used the map. Oh. I'm pretty sure he walked with it through the space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right there. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Uh, let's continue. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So yeah. So uh, we uh we found across the street. Uh, Edebrex found her brother across the street, and uh, you know, we we talked to him. He seemed to be doing well. He had some sad news for Edebrex. Sorry for your loss. And um, uh, we found out uh after we went to go collect some food and stuff for dinner. I believe he began to get hustled by some some baddies or a baddie. And uh, Gunner stood up to him, and uh, I believe there was a, a mental uh, jujitsu battle, and uh, they we they they hit, shook hands afterwards and called it a tie. Uh, but he uh, he was just there to collect some some money. Everyone has to pay their like their fee for operating in the town or whatever. Um, and uh, we I think we we nicely paid him and uh, and uh, did away with him. And then uh, we were on to having dinner, if I remember last, but I don't remember anything past that. There was a maybe something key that you're missing right at the end there. <sighs> we all woke up and we were back in Sandpoint. <laughs> and the city was in great, great shape. Yes, it was. I it's all a much. dream. You guys it used was. to read up Word Magazine, Salt and Pepper. And heavy D. It was all the drink. Up in that limousine. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. Okay. I don't get it. If, never mind. Never mind. Uh so does anybody else remember what happened very the, the very last thing that happened in the tabletop tavern last week? I really think Dave should tell us. Yeah. <laughs> good good well played. He should just man up. I mean he did roll the lowest. So just all go right. ahead. Just tell all everyone. Right. Uh, I believe I somehow pulled off a cast of the spell Miracle, and uh, I wish that's how I remember world it. Peace and world peace was achieved. Yeah, so that's exactly. How I will I allow that. I will allow that to happen with my twist. 
What's your twist? <laughs> world peace. No. So the world goes into just, peace. Just into no. peace. <laughs> no. I would allow there to be world peace under a lawful evil rule. That's still peace. Peace is, you know, as long as there's no, uh, you know, conflict, that's fine. Yep. Lawful yeah. evil forces have taken over the uh, the whole world now, and uh, you guys are under martial law, uh, but there is peace in the land. Okay, I'm gonna have to amend that that miracle. No, wish. No, uh, no, 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 no. Nope. So uh, well, I've got I've got several levels until I can oh, even think about it. Oh, so. I gotta say hi to somebody. I got I gotta say to hi to somebody who hasn't been here in a long time. Um, it's a uh, you have changed your name, sir, but it's a uh, DJ Jewelry Design, DJ Jewelry Design. A uh, really good friend of mine in real life. And uh, it's good to see you with that Abdow, Abdu, Abdow uh, emote. So I see you out there, man. Everybody wave. Wave! Waving. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so do you not remember Dabdathos? No, I don't think any of us do. <laughs> you guys it's only you, Dabdathos. Come on. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, Mike, okay. go ahead and tell us. Uh, when the conversation was wrapping well when we left off the conversation had uh you know uh led to the fact that um uh Edebrick's brother who i can't remember his name right now because i'm a bad dm Bart. oh look Bart. i can't remember bartholomew oh. yep. yep yeah um <laughs> he uh he imparted the knowledge that he had been importing and exporting to sandpoint is this mm -hmm. ringing mm -hmm. any bells with anybody yeah yeah okay all right yeah. And who was the contact for import and export into Sandpoint? Jeb. It was Jeb. It was Jeb. <laughs> yeah. Good was old turn up carton <laughs> Jeb. Turn up part Jeb. <laughs> yeah. As the locals called them. Jeb's dead. No, man. it was. Uh, it was. Yeah. Um, well, so is Aldern Foxglove, but yes. you don't see us complaining. Uh, it was my my former uh, my former love interest Aldern Foxglove. It was it was Aldern yeah. that he had been using as a uh, importer exporter. So yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so the market's open for business. Let's uh, set up shop. Killing the competition. All right. Killing the competition. <laughs> so let's uh, before we get That's go any further, it. let's read the bonuses that we currently have in the queue. Plus one to Mihai from Kitty Machen and a plus one to Gunner from Kitty Machen. Plus one to Yidabricks from Press X to Jump. Plus one to Yidabricks from Press X to Jump for uh, Patreon. Uh, press one to Yidabricks from Elthy. Press one, press uh, one to Yidabricks? I can't words. Shut your face. Um, I mean, at least he didn't call her Weedabricks or anything stupid Mike, like beat that. Him. <laughs> I'm going to beat him. It's okay. Uh, press one to Yidabricks <laughs> from Elfie and a plus one to Gun Gunner from Elfie. Plus one to Gunner from Gardener Girl and a plus one to Mihai from Gardener Girl. Plus one to Dabdathos from Optimus and a plus one to Mihai from Optimus. Plus one to Dabdathos from Tiny Meteor only for perception while he's hungover. And Fair enough. I'll take it. Plus one to Gunner from Lukai. And let's look in the, the, Q, the Q thing. Uh, there's nothing in there except for the name the PC. So that's where we're at right now. You guys ready? There is an additional plus one that just came in. No, it's not. Yep. No. <laughs> Come on. I need it. <laughs> plus one to dab the thoughts uh, from Candlest because I was harsh earlier. You are. Yeah, Candlest, you misspelled me high. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the drunk one now? Um, before we begin tonight, I, 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 I had been thinking about something over the weekend and I realized that we haven't done this in a while. Um, so How I Nerd runs on. Uh, a lot of help from a lot of different people, a lot of individual different people. Um, and I'd be remiss if uh, I didn't remind the fact that uh, to the community out there that uh, we have a lot of volunteers that help out with the uh, the channel. We have a lot of mods. We have a lot of people who are champions for our content here. Um, so from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you guys for what you do for the channel, showing up modding, uh, being you know net promoters for the channel, and interacting with the community and making everybody's uh, time, you know, uh, and feeling welcome here. Uh, so uh, I, re I really appreciate all you guys who, uh, who, you know, the unsung heroes of the channel. Uh, just know that I see it and uh, I appreciate it. So, so here, here. hats off to you guys and Candlest. Wow. <laughs> wow. Candlest, that meme literally made me laugh. So here's your acknowledgement. 
because I need more of that in my life. I can't share it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that good, eh? <laughs> it's, it was good. It was good. Okay. okay. Um, you guys ready to get back into it? Let's do this. Ready? Ready when you are. Are you ready? I mean, y'all ready for this? <laughs> we can't survive five minutes without breaking out into song. <laughs> Always like '90s dance hits too. Yeah, exactly. or hip hop, or hardcore rap. Um, yeah. <laughs> just start singing some uh, uh, shook ones from Mob Deep. So, anyway, when last we left off. Uh, blah, 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 Mike, I interrupt everyone. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. All right, I feel better now. <laughs> no, Doc can edit. <sighs> Doc's going to edit that out, so it's okay. That's fine. Um, yeah. He, like, he has to edit out the 50 million times you interrupt me on my show. I'm not the only one, my friend. <laughs> yeah, you've trained them. I have trained them very well. You're a bad influence. I am a bad influence. All right. Can well, we just I play D&D &D now, guys? We, I, we, no. Luna, I refuse to play D&D &D with you tonight. Fine. Somehow you've become the target. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go play D D with the cool kids then. No, I will play Pathfinder with you though. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> um Candleus, I got a challenge. If you can break me during this uh during this we'll I will give you a prize. If you can send me a meme that makes me uh that consciously makes me laugh while we're going through the story. Uh, we'll, we'll award a prize to you or somebody in the audience based on uh, you being able to break me. So uh, at let's the most forward. inappropriate time, too. Exactly. Like, exactly. Exactly. When someone died, Mike just starts tearing up and laughing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Challenge accepted. No, all right. I like it. There we go. Bring your um, best. <laughs> and remember, I'd like to point this out. I do not get offended. So I'm just putting that out there. All right. All right. I'll give you two gifts if you can offend Mike. <laughs> oh, if you can offend me? Oh, if you can offend me, I'll give you your sub to the channel. What? Right. A year sub? Whoa. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because you can do that now. Yep. Yeah. Um, all right. So when last we left off. You got anything to say there, Dad with us? No, it's perfect. Roll with the take. All right. All right. When last we left off, our party was <laughs> sitting down. <laughs> when last we left off, our party was sitting down with Bart at the at the table and talking about uh, recent events in his life and events in Magnamar and Sandpoint. He revealed to the party that his importer and exporter for uh, the uh, Dreamcatchers into Sandpoint was in fact Dun 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 Old Lauren Fox Jeb. Club. It's to you guys. Uh, so I I assume I'm probably drinking a beverage right now. Yes. All right. Well, I do a spit take. <laughs> I had a feeling that was coming. <laughs> yeah. So I just pff, what? <laughs> Aldrin Fox love. Yeah, he's I a spit. he's a big importer and exporter from uh, Magnamar. His family has been do he's been doing it for years. Um, any chance you've heard from him recently? No, I. That's the interesting part. I I knew he went to Sandpoint, but I haven't heard back from him since uh what has it been like a week or so. A week, that's it. Huh. I think it's been a week. Around there. Wow. So. Hmm. Um, how would you describe your relationship with him? I give him things to sell and he gives me money. That's I've heard of relationships like this before. Um We would I'm, be willing to uh you know, fill in in his absence. Obviously, he's incompetent and can't run a business, but we'll be fine. Uh, do you have resources to exp in the knowledge to export goods to Sandboy? Uh, nah, never mind. That sounds like <laughs> a lot of work. Now that you mm. mention it, we know a guy who owns a ship, though. He'll probably help you out. Hmm, interesting. I believe he doesn't have work yet, so he could take your stuff back. There you go. So, why'd you why'd you spit your uh, drink out there, Dabdathos? 
Um, well, you see, Aldern, uh, we've, we've met him a couple times. Uh, nice fellow, very enthusiastic, um, art wear rat, and, um, yeah, what? he seems like a, what? Art wear rat? A little, a little bit, I mean, the minor detail. Um, I, but, time out, know, time he... out. I... Art rear wear rat? Yeah, underground lair, the whole nine. Yeah, I don't know Aldern why you're focusing on that, though. Yeah, I don't know why you're focusing on that. Can we just move on with the story? I just so yeah. Anyway, it, it does you know, get better. Um, yeah. So you're are you bluffing him or? No, wasn't he part where rat? No. Oh my god. No, he was a vampire. Uh, a ghast. Ghast. That's what it was. He was turning Sorry, people into been, were rats. No. We've been meeting too many things that keep changing on us. You know, it just it's hard to keep track of all this. <laughs> so he was part ghast, was it? Okay. So So you're Hmm. That's interesting. So you're saying okay. that I don't probably don't have Was he the pro, the the issue with Sandpoint or was he causing the problems there? Uh he may have had a connection to it, yes. Hmm. Interesting. But had a connection, he means Yeah, probably Running the whole thing may have been the head guy in that area. In that area, yeah, he, he might we're, have been. We're kind of here on that business, in fact. Oh, mm -hmm. did 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 it uh, expound upon it? I mean, was he working for somebody else? Well, possibly. It's what we think. It's what we're here to find out. You wouldn't happen to know any other people he may have spoken to around here, do you? I mean, I mean, you know, he's done a lot of business in the town. He's pretty well known, but I mean, you could probably, I mean, it might be safe to uh, check out his house, you know, Fox called Manor's here. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, do you know where it is? Yeah. Could it's, you could you mark it on this map? And I take out the map. No, no maps are uh, heresy here in this town. <laughs> what? What do you mean? There's a map vendor right down the road, and he sells a bunch of maps. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, about that. Oh boy, uh, <laughs> what should I do with this map? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just obviously kidding. Um, <laughs> I gotta find where it is on the in the town. Can you share the map with us? No. Please. I'll gladly share my map with you. Mihai, here you go. <laughs> oh, wow. This one's yeah. great. I know, right? Look, this is where we were. Remember, uh, when guys. We were across the street. Here's where we are now when we've crossed the street. Yeah, remember this... when we went to that butcher shop? Oh, yeah, that was... That was... I, like, slide like... my finger like a millimeter. <laughs> oh, right across there. the street. Right there. <laughs> yeah, wow. Right there. That was... yeah. there. I've got like four places marked on the map and they're all like right in this vicinity <laughs> on the map. <laughs> hey, where did you buy it. that map? Oh, uh, right over a slide at like half a millimeter to the right. Right there. That vendor. Oh, right. right <laughs> yeah. Man, this thing's so handy. I know. Look at how much I filled out already. It's a lot, but it's all in one little area. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a big city. But we There's really know this on. area well. We do. We do. Hmm interesting oh yeah so so the house any chance you remember i mean um, it doesn't help if i i'm lucky orient the map different i'm sorry I'm sorry sir my apologies bart so guys do you, any chance that that key is gonna work on this house too well i mean do you expect right? the guy to answer the door given his current state i it, assume if it was his house then maybe this key would work so sure. I mean, a... we could always awkwardly knock again. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you could. Yeah. Uh, so it's up in the northeast uh, part of town. It's in the Naus. Um, um, NAOS is the district. Uh, Naus. It's to the. Uh, it's just to the east of this capital district. Oh. Okay. Did you uh, mark it on my map for me? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate that. We're going to have to find out what's across the street from that place. Oh, boy, it could be anything. could be yeah. everything. It's in this area. I'm not sure the exact little 
little house, but it's up in that area. Okay. Yeah, no, thank that's oof. It's a lot further than across the street. I think we can make do. You can make do? And I hope so. Okay. All right, cool. All righty. Yeah, so he lives up there. It's uh, it's in that district up there. And uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, like I said, he had a he had a relationship with a lot of, you know, some people in town who, you know, they would just, you know, he'd buy things from them and he'd sell them, you know, in other places, you know. Mm. Would you, you probably didn't have much interaction with him outside of business, did you? No, not really. All right. Uh, more interested in his personal goings on at this point. <laughs> I I lean over and like whisper to Bart of interest. <laughs> Can you give me a perception dab with us? Sure. I'll use that. <laughs> I'll use that plus one from Tiny Meteor as well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I think that's yeah. a bad investment, but I'm just saying that's just I me love personally. it. Do it. Hey, do he it, said it was it. only to be used on a perception check. So here we go. Uh, that is a 17 plus 15 for 32. Uh, you definitely hear me high say this to Bart off the, on the side. Uh, <laughs> in me high, I'm just basing that on your perception. You'll never roll. No, it's impossible. No, no. <laughs> no. I think you got it. <laughs> I, just, I just, I hear that and I'm just like, well, I mean, technically, yeah. I mean, that that would help too. I mean, we already know one of them. It was me. So, that's what I meant. I just slowly yeah. nod. <laughs> <laughs> huh, well, it's been an eventful we'll day. To... It's been it's been quite the day. Should we sit yeah. down to eat? I mean, I'm sure you have a lot to tell us. We were about to catch up with you, right? I, I know mean, this is well, surprise, was. hungry. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, it's okay if we crash here tonight? Yeah, you guys can find floor room. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That'll work for me. Appreciate it. Uh, can I give you a hand just cleaning up here before we, uh, you know, rest for the evening? I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Happy to help. And I'll just start gathering up things and, you okay. know. You know, yeah. so you help him uh, get all, the, you know, the dishes in the kitchen. You, you know, you, you break up the duties in the kitchen. He washes you dry, um, you know, and start, put, you know, looking around, trying to awkwardly put stuff away. When you put it in the wrong yep. place, he, uh, he he points out where it's supposed to go. Uh, what do you guys Sounds do in the meantime? Right. What do you guys, uh, the rest of you, uh, Gunnar Edebricks and Mihai, what are you doing in the meantime? I'm looking around the house to see if he has any mementos of our family. Yeah, you can see a couple things, you know, pictures of, uh, you know, or draw. Yeah, pictures. Um, well, you know, I know what you meant, like a drawing, an draw illustration. Yeah. Illustrations of you guys looking happy. You know what I mean? Better, different times. Edebricks, much younger, uh, much younger yeah. Edebricks, you know, your family. And, uh, you know, you see some uh, you see some tools that have obviously been in the family for a while, you know downstairs you saw a lot more new like newer tools but these are like yeah. you know in places of honor uh essentially yeah so so yeah so i just kind of go around and i kind of look at everything and take it all in and yeah that's pretty much all i'm doing at this point okay yeah you you notice he has your father's eyes in a jar Oh God! No, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> that took a dark turn. <laughs> it was really sweet for a second. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. That's wow. like a, what a nice moment. Like I was just that. thinking that, and then all of a sudden, just whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Gunner is probably following around Edebricks, almost like a confused, lost puppy, like half bent over the hovel. As long as she lets him, because he's kind of like massive city. This is really unnerving. Yeah. Um, so I'll just be, like, as clearing spaces on the floor and like laying out bed rolls and like getting their stuff ready. Yeah, you might have to push one of the tables off to the side. It's not a huge place, you know what I mean? So I call the couch. No, I'm kidding. Um <laughs> Yeah, so as like Gunner's following following me around, like I'll you know, I'll kind of like stop and I'll point to a picture and I'll be like, you know, this is um 
this is Bart, me, my mom, my dad. These are my other two brothers. Um, and sort of, you know, point out different things to him as we walk around. <laughs> All right. So the nice, uh, you know, time passes, uh, the sun's coming down, you know, the sun's gone down. Uh, you guys are sitting there with, uh, full bellies and, uh, uh, you know, a couple drinks in you and, uh, the dishes have been done. Everything looks ready, uh, to, uh, uh, you know, everything has been complete for the night. So when you guys uh, are ready, you can retire for the evening and, uh, let me know. Yeah. I will gladly do that, and I'll I'll find a nice little uh, space, you know, away from like uh, everything, and just lay out a bedroll and uh, make myself as comfortable as possible. Uh, give me a D uh, D one hundred roll with a higher low. Call a higher roll and dab to thoughts. Okay, low. Oh, 51. You are unable to get comfortable. <laughs> oh, <I was laughs> but only by like the tiniest little bit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the princess in the pea kind of thing. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Amazing. The four there's tiles a don't just quite match up. No, it's there's like, just a grain of sand. It really bothers you. There's a grain of sand <laughs> under your uh, under your bedroll. I just can't get it out either. Oh, yeah. it's so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys retire for the night. Uh, the night passes uneventfully. You awaken to the morning uh, to the smells of bacon and eggs in the kitchen. Oh. And there's a halfling breakfast. <laughs> ah, I see you guys uh, are waking up. Uh, morning, Bart. Morning. Dab with uh, us. Yep. Yep. We're like. <laughs> how'd you how'd you all sleep? I just couldn't get comfortable. There was this like little grain of sand or something just in my bedroll. And it's uh no fault of your own. This is uh I wish I could find that thing. You didn't have enough to drink. It's true. It's true. And with enough drink, you won't care about a grain of sand. Absolutely That's, not. Makes sense. This whole not drinking thing's pretty hard for me. Gunner yawns and rolls over and shoves his thumb in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, maybe we should just let him sleep. <laughs> I'll uh I'll get up and start like offering to help finish up cooking breakfast and stuff okay All yeah, well, right. while you guys take care of that i'm just gonna uh take a little time out to pray if you don't mind just gonna sit behind dad with us what you doing Shh. talking <laughs> to desna <laughs> why because <laughs> she gives me power why because she likes me no why? i don't why <laughs> no i don't <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, I gotta get out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> just get up and walk away. <laughs> I go back to Brian after that and just focus and just really try to drown out the distractions around me. I try and find a, a quieter space or a, a, a room that's uh, separated from everyone else. I sit down and pull out a lute and start going <laughs> playing really poorly. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You just magically pull out a lute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does some air looting. Yeah, he just makes yeah. the noises with his mouth. Presentation to make the music, and yeah. he just plays like the air loot. He's like yeah. Razel. Make the music yeah. with my mouth. Nobody, <laughs> nobody. All right. No. All right. Yeah, about that. Um. Alrighty. So yeah, uh, Dab Thoughts, you're gonna go off and pray to your goddess, and hopefully she's listening yes. today because you'll probably need it. But um, you yes. need it. um, what is? And so after breakfast is, you know, breakfast is served up. Like I said, some bacon and eggs and some uh, fried potatoes, and uh, you know, Bart walks out of the kitchen after cleaning up and says, "What are you guys gonna do today?" Well, we. Uh have to go check on the guild and make sure that they got those crates so we can receive our payment. And I believe we intend to check out the Foxglove Manor. Anyone? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sounds like that would be a good place we to start. We also had another address, didn't we? Or some people to seek out. On a note, I believe. 
Uh, do I have that note? Out of no. character, yeah, I think you probably do. I don't know though; I can't remember. It was Alderans, right? Right after the fight. I think I have that note. In which case, I will pull it out and take a look at it. Once you, uh, and... if you have a note, why don't you read it for the uh, for everybody so we can catch people up? Sure. You want to open it for me? Uh, <laughs> As he slowly reaches if I into share, his Just back. so you guys know, if I share something with you, you guys can go look into the documents thing and pull it up. Image and maps. Oh. Oh, no way. Yeah. Okay, great. And which. Oh, I can see a lot more than I probably should be able to see in here. Really? <laughs> uh, a lot of images. I don't know what it's called, though. That's the thing. Okay. Um, I, I'm not sure which note exactly you're referring to. Um, so I'll have to. It had like an address or like a seek out these people, whatever. Next time you're in, give me a second. Yeah, the note that was the note that was given to Aldern that we found uh, when we may or may not have murdered him. <laughs> may or may not. Is it? Would that be murder? I don't know about that. No, no, it wouldn't be murder. No, we may or may not have defended ourselves against his evil. That's right. Yes. Defense. Defense. All right. Uh, Fox Club Manor. Um, locations. Oh, bringing back some memories of me looking through all these images. I know. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. I gotta look through all the encounters and find which one it was. Uh, oh, I think it's this one. I think it's. I this think one. the moat one is meme worthy. The moat one. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wish I could copy it. Take a screenshot. On it. <laughs> Let's present the best. Whoever can go to Discord and pull this image and make a meme out of it. Uh, <laughs> I'll post it in media. We'll show the best one off at the end of the night. <laughs> it's just a picture remote. The text choice is yours. Have fun. <laughs> Bonus points if they rip on Dave. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> That's Fantastic. just mean. Oh, uh, I gotta go. Hold on. Sorry. I'm about... still searching for it too. Yeah. It's probably one of the handouts, right? It is a handout, yeah. So, images. Might be 2 5. Uh, that might be the one. Yeah, I see what you're talking about here. Let's yep. see here. Consider to your, your debt to the brothers paid in full. I yeah, still have a need from you. Uh,. The Sahedron ritual? Mm hmm. Do you remember the workings of trust? You seem quite lucid at the time. Well, you're paraphrasing, so read it out loud, Dave, out of thoughts. Uh, it says, trying to find the spot that has any information that is relevant. Oh, it's literally his townhouse. Return to your townhouse in Magnamar. My agent shall contact you soon. Okay. So, yeah, the, the, I pull out the note and I read it and I say, oh, yeah, like looking through it, it says actually that we. He was supposed to go back to his own townhouse, so I guess the two places we're supposed to go are actually the same. Get two birds stoned at once, boys. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that how that works? Is that how that saying goes? <laughs> Pretty sure not it is, bubs. Okay. Not, not exactly, but we'll roll with it. Why not? Perfect. Uh, <sighs> perfect. All right. So... To you guys, I don't know what you you know if you intend to do anything beforehand, but so I'll certainly partake of some of the breakfast. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Part, you, you so we're going over all this. It. We're going over all this at the breakfast table. I'm guessing. Sure. I figured. Okay. Gunner kind of leans in at everybody, and like it was like the shifty eyed look between all of them, and looks out the door. I feel really uncomfortable here. Why is that? 
blink, blink, stare at that. All right, she got me. She got me. (laughs) (laughs) Great timing, too. Sorry. All right. So I don't know. (laughs) Candleless, you tell me what we want to do. Do we want to give 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 subs to the uh, the channel? What do you want me to do? You uh, PM me. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, Gunner, what? Why do you feel uncomfortable? I, Gunner, kind of blinks at David the Thos like repeatedly, then points out the door slash window, whatever's closest that he can get a clear line of sight to, and he just kind of stares at David the Thos for another second or two and goes, "Are you kidding?" I take a look out the window and I assume I just see the hustle and bustle of the city. Yeah, they think there's a centaur as well. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, centaurs, they just show up in windows. I mean, that's fine. I yeah, the thus, this city <laughs> is huge. <laughs> Absolutely huge. I know. I'm just going to like lean back in my chair and be like, well, I mean, more people to hide in, right? It's just kind of the way these things work. It's yeah. Anonymity I've... in numbers. It's great. <laughs> I, I, I slowly turn to look at Mihai. I thought Sandpoint was big. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit bigger, isn't it? A bit? How many people in your town again? A couple hundred at most. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah. Um, And we all know each other. Well. This is going to be a little different. I mean, I, I, I for one, uh, appreciate the crowds. As I like, just kind of like pull up my hood a little bit more and more. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. I mean, you know, we've already met friends here. So, <laughs> see how easy it is to find good people. So the man in the pajamas is threatening Eda Briggs' brother to pay him or he'll beat him up and light his shop on fire. Yes, tons of good people. Well, I mean, you know, for every good one you find, you find a bad one. Sure, it's, it's, you got a, a little little balance there, a yin and a yang, but... The you know, man uh... at the shop with the maps wanted to rip you off for a piece of parchment. What do you mean rip me off? It was a good deal. Look at this map. It is a nice map. And look, it even shows us where to go. I can lead us all the way to, to Aldern's uh, Manor. <laughs> Well, it's not quite across the street, but um, no, but I think it's we'll just get there. like it's like crossing a lot of streets. You That's know? true. Good point. If you've crossed one, you can cross them all. <laughs> Gotta cross them all, Magnum. Gotta cross them all. Table <laughs> <laughs> yeah, top tavern, right. the musical. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've talked about doing that before. Yeah. Oh my I god, think it's we a great did. idea. I think it's a terrible idea. <laughs> it's a fantastic <laughs> idea. Uh, so about these large crowds, Gunner, uh, if someone were looking for you and you didn't want them to uh, find you or as easily, it would uh, be preferable. And that's what these types of cities are good for. There may be more sketchy people, but, you know, they kind of keep to themselves and keep quiet. I slowly turn to look at Eda Bricks. Yes? Are they kidding? I don't think so. Nah. They're not, as you say, messing with me. I mean, I have to kind of agree. There is something kind of nice about being anonymous in a large city, but I understand your concern. <sighs> hey, look, no, let's Gunner, just say, I mean, you go ahead, Mihai. Let's just say, for example, I have a feeling. We're on the same page, but go on. I am sure if people were, let's say, eyeing me funny, I'm sure I could rely on all of you to tell me, right? I'm eyeing you funny. Is he is he eyeing me funny? Absolutely. Oh my God, I'm not is. telling you. Oh, no, I'm not telling you. <laughs> this is our whole system is breaking down, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be in trouble here. All right. Um, yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Well, Gunnar, what I was going to say to help put your mind at ease is, uh, I mean, you're a pretty strong person, right? 
Um, yes. Who's going to mess with you that you can't handle it? The man in the pajamas tried to. You could have yeah, taken him. We all killed know. him. Come on. Yeah, we all know you could have taken him. Simple raised eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, you were the nice one to him because you spared his life. He oof, didn't stand a chance. I suggest you challenge him to an arm wrestle next time we see him. That'll boost yes. your confidence. I agree. You know, might not be a bad way for Gunner to make some coin while we're in the city. Hmm. Mm. It's true. And you'll get a reputation as someone not to be trifled with. Double true. I love it. Yeah. We'll take Let's bets in the audience. And we'll give <laughs> odds to the locals knowing they'll get beat. Hmm. Mm. There's money what? to be made. I'm more just I whip out a notebook and start crunching numbers. <laughs> How much gold do you guys have? Not enough to support that. I more just meant that he could challenge people and they could put money up. Fight who, club. Who wouldn't want to pay to try to best the strongest man in Magnamar? The hero of Sandpoint. <laughs> I love it. Is there a circus tent in town? I know there was one years ago. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just an idea. Food for thought. Well, at the very I'm least, we got her. Yeah. You got nothing Go to worry about. Give me Did a little flex. Cloak? See it. Yes, I'm wearing it. I'll just... Pull that hood up. You'll be easy breezy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> what? What's a lemon? Oh, have you not? Ooh. Okay, if you ever get this thing called the lemon, do me a favor. It's amazing. It's yellow. Um, uh -huh. Just bite it hard as you can. It's the That's best. That's so mean. No, it's pretty good. Hey, I coming from the guy who bites turnips, okay? <laughs> All right, fair, but. Yeah. <laughs> Got to know your audience. What? <laughs> Don't just bite into a lemon. You have to peel the skin off it first. It's a oh. fruit. It's citrusy. It's kind of sour. Fruit. Never heard of this. Fruit. Hmm. Okay, so what are we doing today? Right. First, we find a fruit stand. Then we go to Alders. <laughs> no, no. Guild. Guild fruit stand Alders. I don't have, I only have one of those on my map. This is going to get challenging. No, oh, yeah. Hmm. I think. Never mind. Do you have something the to guild say about? is across the street. Right. Aldern's is northeast in the next sector area. The hold okay. your pinky out while you sip tea area, if you will. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Well then. Uh, I guess we should probably start getting ready to go, huh? Huh. Is there anything you guys need to do to prepare before you take off? Yeah, I don't think so. Pray. Hmm? For me, because I slept in instead of praying. All right. Um, I'll help clean up from breakfast. There you go. Otherwise, yeah, good to I'll, go. I'll I'll give uh give a hand there, help with the cleaning. Okay. Breakfast is cleaned up, and Dabithos and Gunner, you have prayed for the day, and let me know when you want to run out. Well, Bart, it's been fun, and uh, you know maybe we'll swing by after we uh, check out these places if that's cool. You guys are always welcome here. Eat a break, I really hope to see you. I mean, don't please don't run off on me. Um, I will make no promises, but I will do my best to not run off on you. Just know you always have a place here. Thank you. I give him a huge hug. He <laughs> hugs you back, and uh, 
um, with a little sniffle, he pulls back and he says, it's really, it just, it's so good to see you, sister. It's good to see you too. Hey, Bart, ab about those wares, uh, there's a man down at the docks, new fluffy shirt. Go talk to him. Uh, help me out here, team. His name was the captain. Start with a T. Maybe. Captain. T. Um, we only spent a day with the guy, you know. He was cool, though. Trangulus. Trangulus. Thank with you. The sea biscuit. The sea biscuit. He's looking for work. He just came from a port in Sandpoint, so I'm sure he'd be willing to ship your goods there. Excellent. I of would... course, you'll have to make contact with someone on the other side, but if you want someone to trust... The, I mean, I have, the contact. I have contacts father. over there. That's not a big deal, you know? Great. Interesting. All right. Hopefully that helps in Alder instead, but sure. I have a couple hours before the ship... Uh, I mean, before I get open the shop, I'm going to... I guess I'll make my way down there. I mean, well, he was willing to transport cargo up from Seer, from Sandpoint for the, for the guild, so... Mm -hmm. True. For some extra coin, he may be willing to take some back for you. Excellent. Well, thank you guys. That that solves one issue for me. Okay. Anything we can do to help? Track us down. I believe we'll be in town for some time. Will do. Um. Okay. So he uh, he heads off, and you guys. He says you guys are free to go whenever you uh, whenever you'd like, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Alrighty. Um, I think the first thing I'll do as soon as we walk out is I'll look around for a fruit stand. I draw his attention to the map. Give me uh, a... Over there. There were stands over there. Well, that's where the merchants were. I bet we'll find a fruit stand. All right. Well, let's take a look. All right. You walk over and you uh, see some fruits, uh, some uh, some produce stalls, and uh, people selling. Uh, give me a D20 roll. Uh, I'm sorry, D100, high or low? Call it. Uh, high. Yes, 91. Wow. Uh, you come across, uh, a man selling some lemons. All right, well, I'll approach him, and, uh, a good day to you, sir. You have a good day. Some, uh, fine, round things you have here. These? My lemons? Yes. Yes. You lemons. know what they say, right? When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. No, you freeze them and throw them at the people that make you mad. Am I making you mad? No. It's just I a like proverb. Kind of start dodging. It's a... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you aren't let's let's be honest, you ain't dodging anything. What who are you talking about? Shink shink shink, I walk closer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd like to purchase uh, a couple of your lemons for uh, my friends over here. Sure. Three copper apiece. Copper? Any way I could talk you down to less? <laughs> <laughs> I start reaching through my pockets. I got buttons. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice. Are you, po are you poking fun at me, sir? No, no. I no. just... Uh, you know what? Give you two coppers because uh, you're such a nice dude. So... Uh, yeah, I'll take four. That would be nine copper, and sir. Nine? Wait. Here's 18. Okay, what? I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I, I grab up the lemons and I'm like, pleasure doing business with you. That was the worst negotiation I've ever seen. <laughs> what are you talking about? I talked him down. I did it. <laughs> he You're came right. at me You're with right. the one copper piece thing. I said, no. I thought he said three. Or, three. I said double or nothing. Did he said I? three. You talked him down to two, and then you double paid. <laughs> you paid four. <laughs> the initial asking price was three. <laughs> but you did successfully get him to agree to two. I negotiated. <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> you are helping out the town everywhere we go, and I commend you for that, sir. That yep. was a nice tip. Tip, yes. Yes, you just wanted exactly. to prove that you could negotiate. Well and done, I, I might it. add. Two thirds surprise. Fantastic. Thank you. I've but been watching then you, you still do gave it him a tip. Just, yeah, I'm just I'm talented like that. So, 
But anyway, hey, Gunner, and I just toss him one. Hmm. Take now, one. Where we were on the ship, it's important to get not scurvy. And these will give us not scurvy. Ah, uh, yes. I've heard of this mm. condition, not scurvy. As little as one day at sea. And you'll want to get not scurvy. Well, uh, dig in. I, of course, use prestidigitation to turn mine into something sweet and awesome and just take a huge bite. These are amazing. <laughs> oh. I pull out my blade off my hip. And I cut it in half. Like, just run it down the blade, cut it in half. Wipe the, the juices off of my hip. Slip the blade away. Take one half, and I literally just take, like, the the pulp and, like, scrape my teeth from like halfway through the inside straight back just like sucking up all the juices in the pulp mm. I can like feel it <laughs> mm -hmm. that's gonna high <laughs> immediately immediately like when he finally gets like the first like bite or two the tartness hitting him and his like face all scrunches up and he drops both halves on the ground and he's just like <laughs> I tried to warn you now that will put some magic in your blood <laughs> Why would anyone eat this? It's a warrior's food. They don't tend to eat it like that. They usually use it in things. Mostly the juice. Use it in things? Like in a cup? Where's your water skin? I take out mine no. and just like squeeze the Oh my god, I know! <laughs> <laughs> just a few drops, it's great. Oh, it keeps okay. it fresh. Yeah. Yeah. What? Dad with us, you've been awarded a plus one bonus from Pirate X Core. Woo, thank you. So I kind of look at him curious and I wait for like Mihai to finish squeezing it into his water skin and I kind of hold my hand out for it. But for, for my water skin? Yeah, because you added the lemon to it already and I dropped my entire lemon on the ground. Yeah, try it. Whatever. Here. So I, I, I take just, like, the water skin out. and I like I sniff it and I'm like I'm like ready for a second jolt of tart and like I take a sip out of it and get like most of it out of my mouth and I pause and like swish it around my mouth swallow and I try a second sip and I kind of look at him and I give that approving nod and I hand it back to him. Yeah. It it's sort of like it's sort of like that cool refreshing spring water that comes off the top of the ice mountains with like a little pucker almost. You know, like that, that, that tart green grass. Huh. Yeah, I suppose. He's totally talking about lemongrass, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> now it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, sure. Plus one to Gunner from Chef a la death for lemon face. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um... So I kind of nod and I hand him back the water skin and I take one of the other lemons and I, I uncork my water skin and I squeeze like an entire lemon to it. And like mix it up, cork it back up and like put it on my hip again. That's a man's drink right there. I'm glad someone's using them. I don't like these things. <laughs> you just... <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, the guild. Uh... Let's collect our money. Ah, good idea. Do we know where it is? I don't know. Why don't we refer to our map? All right. I look down at the map. Is it marked on the map? <laughs> For fuck's sake. I don't know. Did you mark it <laughs> we on We were map? there. We were there. I think it was up this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, it should be right across the street. Yeah. I mean, if these are the, the stands and, and the merchants, it's near here. Well, let's try and get What are you guys looking for? Figure out distance. Uh, the merchant guild, was it? And he points like 10 stalls down. Because you are literally in the same area that you have been. Oh, it's know, almost you... um, almost across the street, really. It's just a right. hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, right. right. Sir, on this map, could you point it out to me? No, it's right I there. I just crossed the street. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like he's, he's got a scent on it. Uh, thank you again for uh, your business. Appreciate go away. It. Go, please. Just, just go. <laughs> As you wish, sir. and leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I, I follow in suit. <laughs> he said tourists. 
You guys make your way over to the Merchant Hall as you get over there. The a gentleman you had spoken to previously sees you coming and his face lights up and he uh, he welcomes you on into the stall. Ah, friends, come on in. Hello, sir. How uh, do you find yourself today? I am well. Beautiful weather today. The The town is uh, bustling. Uh, money to be made and uh, I, I do have this sum for you. And I suppose all eight crates were accounted for. All crates were accounted for. I'm just pulling your leg over six, but that's I know. okay. And that's why I said all crates were accounted for. Not uh, city folks can't pull anything past them, guys. <laughs> no tricks. Okay. I'm going to say this because I've said it before. You are the best equivocation person I've ever met in my life. You should be a politician. You literally should be a politician. I would love to. Actually, I would hate my life. I'm sure they all hate their lives too. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I've been right in. For the uh, for the slow people in the back, equivocation is a really big word. Can we get an explanation, please? Uh, he lying without lying. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, because he he was uh, he just it's wordplay. So okay, yeah. And he uh, I did yeah. not have sex with that woman. <laughs> right. That's, yeah. No, that's just that's just lying. That's I'm just kidding. lying. Um, okay, so. Uh, I, and I'm trying. What I'm trying to remember right now is the uh, the sum I that you. I think it was 300 gold. 300 gold. All right. So he throws a sack over to you guys with uh, 300 gold. Let me. I'll divvy. Do you want me to divvy that up through the party or? Yep. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, go. And uh, boom. I think. Yep. You guys should be all set. Thank you. Yay. Yep. Well, while we're in town, any other work? I believe we intend to stay within the city limits for the near future, but uh, anything you need done? Not currently. Um, why don't you check back in a couple days, uh, and uh, we'll see if uh, I can find something for you. Absolutely. What do you, uh, I mean, like, what can you do? Like, what, uh, what can you help us with? Well, I puff out my chest, put my hands on my hips. We were once known as the ah, cracks neck heroes of Sandpoint. Mm. <laughs> hmm, that's odd. I've never heard of that. Looking behind me to see if everyone else is doing a cool pose. No, <laughs> just like no. Nope. I might, I I might actually it. be like picking my nose at the moment when it turns back. <laughs> I like quickly stop. I'm like, <laughs> oh, hey, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Heroes, um, heroes of Sandpoint. What, what's that about? Oh, we took care of some goblins. We uh, killed the dragon. Um, yeah, you know, we can handle some pretty big chores, but uh, of course they have to pay. But yourself in a merchant's guild you understand that That's maybe fine. you might want to check in with the guard they probably have some bounties on some bet you know if there's no we don't do bounties. no that's out of the question but okay. if you had any work we'd <laughs> love to okay oh stop by keep stopping by i'll see if i can come up sure with something thing. if the need Absolutely. arises uh where can i find you hmm where can't you find us am i right guys uh... equivocation. Equivocation. no i'm not actually yeah. sure we don't have a place to stay Well, We're when you to town? when you find a place to stay, let me know, and uh, I'll see if we uh, if we come up with some work. I'll send it your way. Sounds great. Okay. Yeah. Well, good day, so, sirs and madam. Same to you, sir. Good day to you. Party. Where do we go next? I have a oh, feeling a uh, map's about to make an appearance, and I pull it out. Oh, Gunner shakes his head and steps outside onto the street. There's only one place left, I think, for us to go. That's to Aldern's Manor. Yeah. Huh. Dun, dun, that is dun. Quite the walk. Uh, but... Any shops we need to stop in on? Mm. I mean, I'm sure we'll pass plenty of interesting things and people along the way. I mean, we'll, we'll keep an eye out if anything catches your eye, but I mean, oh, I mean, at the very least, we can find a pub and an inn, am I right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'll definitely Although we may want to rent to the those. cheap end of town. Hmm. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, Which way? right? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see here. It's uh, this way, and I begin the lead. It takes you quite, if, if you guys just get a straight walk there, um, 
I mean, it takes you a good while. It takes you about an hour and a half to walk up there. Um, you guys meander through the city. Uh, the sights and smells of this uh, this giant city assaults you as you walk through. Um, you they range from the pleasant smells of food and uh, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, scents that uh, you guys are not used to. Me, how you being the exception? Um, you know, perfumes, incenses, things of that nature. The uh, the smells of uh, livestock. Uh, you know, uh, spicy food, um, you know, uh, fish markets, uh, and then, you know, as you meander through some parts of the city, they're not the, as nice as other parts and the, uh, the smell of, uh, poverty assaults you. Um, but, uh, for the most part, you, uh, as you try you know, it's a very diverse city, um, uh, with a lot to offer. Um, and you see, uh, People in bright color clothes, people of every race, uh, uh, well, uh, a lot of, there's a lot of variety of different races here. Um, elves, half elves, uh, you know, uh, uh, halflings, um, uh, you know, and there, you do see some exotic races as, he, as well here. Um, you know, uh, things you're, you know, maybe races that you haven't had the uh the opportunity to meet yet um occasionally you even see a drought walking through the city um although mm -hmm. he, his eyes are covered um but it's a very it's a very exotic city for you uh for the most of you um you you know especially for gunner coming from the the what you know how he grew up the there's a lot of sound, a lot of overwhelming sound. There's a lot of overwhelming smells in the, uh, um, it seems very oppressive because the amount of people packed into such a tight spot. Gunner looks visibly nervous, anxious. I'm kind of just like taking it all in, like actually kind of enjoying the hustle and bustle of it. Yeah, I'm just kind of people watching and stuff. Okay. I mean, Nita Bricks, you've uh, you made your way through th cities like this before. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This is. Uh, I don't think this is anything new for you. So. No, not really. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, uh, it takes you about a, you know like a, an hour and a half, and uh, you make your way up to where you think uh, Foxglove Manor is. And I just want to say I, I'd have uh, Jackson with me because we haven't found a permanent place we're staying yet. Okay. But so you've been riding this riding whole time? along at the same pace. Okay. With them. Yeah. All right. All right. And as you approach Foxglove Manor, you look up and see a giant break coming to the tabletop tavern. <laughs> oh. dun, dun, dun. I was like, is that a monster I haven't read about in the base tier? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, what's a break? Um, plus one to Edebrix from uh from Great Wolf. Uh, Edebrix, Edebrix. I'm gonna say Edebrix again. You. All right, everybody. As you guys know, at our midway point through the show, we like to take a quick break so that everybody can run to the restroom, get a snack, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, we are going to do that now. Uh, so we will see, Edric, do you have a poll question for our community? No, I don't. Why? Because <laughs> I can't brain today. I took the weekend what, off. What, brain actually, and... I'm going to look up, uh, I'm going to look up uh, the questions from tabletop, Tar uh, tales from the tavern here and they see if there's anyone. Oh yeah. There. there were some great questions the other night. <laughs> what about um the two quotes for memes that we have in uh one is Mo saying you got my shield right <laughs> and the other one is i pray to desna for the day davidathos finishes oh <laughs> okay so we could we could do what's what's it's which one which which one is your favorite <laughs> meme okay all right and uh when we come back from the break the uh we'll see who the winner is uh so let me create that poll real quick eat a break can you do it I can. Sure. All right. Why don't you get, why don't you get that going? Get some votes while we're gone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> get some votes <laughs> in. And uh, um, yeah, we. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Can't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Eh? 
I'm just looking at some of the. Burn. Well, wow. she sent a couple at, at once, and I saw. So there was two of them, and the first one kind of had a double meaning, and it didn't hit me until I was reading the second one, and then I was like, <laughs> it, it 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 was had a, it was funny. So uh, she got me. <laughs> she got me, guys. Um, Edrix, let me know when you're ready with that poll. Working on it. I got a short one. If you guys want to see the pictures, they are definitely in our Discord. So uh, jump in our Discord, join the Discord, and uh, be, become part of the How I Nerd community. And uh, check those memes out so you can get your vote in. Hashtag free the P coming in from, uh, from chat out there. All right. Good. Uh, Wolf Spot says, find an inn you'd like to burn down. That's where you're going to stay. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, that's bro. just rude. Okay, poll is up, low. guys. We're gonna uh, we're gonna jump over to a quick break, and we'll uh, see ya in a few moments. All right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, bearing with us during that break. We are coming back now, and it is time to get back into the tabletop tavern. Uh, let's, Luna. Can you give us the poll results, please? Uh, it was the uh, pray to Desna for Davdathos to finish one by like a tiny smidgen it was like 52 to 40 something percent or something really close excellent well, i don't remember the exact amount but i'm glad the people want to help me thank you <laughs> they care about you david Makes... they care about yeah, you it's, it's they've just seen me fail so much that they just want something good to happen <laughs> oh this is good i gotta tell you guys about this we found this at aldi today and it's called razzleberry zero sugar and it's peach iced tea, uh Raspberry iced tea, sugar free, and it's phenomenal. Hmm. Aldi is my favorite, by the way, guys. All right. I know that was super important. You guys ready to get back at it? You know, yep. I, I pulled yeah, this water go. bottle out of the, uh, the cupboard and I haven't used it in a long time. And I gave it a quick rinse, but there's like a mysterious white powder on it. And, Cocaine. Uh, <laughs> is it Razor Respawn? Yeah, I was going to say Razor Respawn. <laughs> Well, as a matter of fact, it's not actually, um, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know is, what it is. It doesn't have a taste. Is it on the outside or in the inside? On the outside. Oh, it's probably like sheet grab powder dust. Could just be like um, Gamer Girl asbestos. bath water. Could be asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the bath water. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Yeet. All right. Um, that was uh, illuminating, but... Uh... When we left off at the break, most of my uh, most of my conversations are actually. Could you, Davdathos? Could you entertain the crowd for about two minutes for me? Uh, sure. You're asking hey, a lot. Knock knock. Oh, I love Who's jokes. There? Boo. Boo who? Uh, oh, why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. so 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 a duck walks into a bar. Okay. And he walks up to the bartender and he says, hey, you got any grapes? And the bartender says, no, we don't. And he's like, okay. And he leaves. The next day, Duck comes back into the bar, goes to the bartender, says, hey, got any grapes? And the bartender says, no. So the Duck leaves. The Duck comes back the third day. He goes up to the bartender, says, hey, got any grapes? And the bartender says, no. If you come in here again uh, and ask if I got any grapes, I'm going to staple your bill to the, to the table. So the Duck leaves. Uh, comes back in the next day, goes up to the bartender, goes, hey, got any staples? And he says, no. And he goes, got any grapes? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> That's the best I'm pretty sure now. there's I'm a sorry. whole song like that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. You guys hear about the drummer who had quadruplets? <laughs> who had what? The drummer who had quadruplets. Did you hear about him? What did he name his daughters? I have no idea. What and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. <laughs> <laughs> Musical. Uh, <laughs> why why uh, did yeah. I do this to myself? A pun, Ishment. You know, uh, Mihai's pretty shy, but he has the heart of a lion. And a lifetime ban at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, how do you get a D&D &D player to go out with you? How? You ask him for a D8? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
What did fifty? <laughs> what, did, what did fifty do when uh, when he was hungry? What fifty? Fifty eight. Uh. <laughs> like the number. Chef, Chef I like the number. said. Uh, Chef Aladeth said, "Did you hear about the gnome psychic that broke out of jail?" There's a small medium at large. <laughs> I like it. Guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm retiring the channel today. <laughs> hey, what happens when you stand on a D4? Your foot takes 1D4 damage. <laughs> that it does. <laughs> ah, we've got good content here on this channel. Tune in for more. We've got shows on Sundays, Mondays, <laughs> Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Tip your waitresses. <laughs> and soon to be Tuesdays. Soon to hey. be Tuesdays, yeah. Spay and neuter your animals, please. <laughs> Luna, when do we have the cast reveal for, uh, for Star Wars? The 27th. It's coming up. And that's on Tales from the Tavern. It's going to wow. be a very that's special. Be Tales from the Tavern. Very special. I think I'm going to join you guys on that one, if you don't mind. Oh, my God. There's going to be eight of us on the screen. Uh, it can't yep. be done. It's never been done before. It hasn't. I need more power, Davdathas. <laughs> I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> so... Since we're doing horrible puns, I got one for you guys. Okay. Oh, please. All right. Why was the werebat scared to fly outside? Why? Because every cloud has a silver lining. Uh. <laughs> that was a good one. Was a good one. Uh, what did the kids did say when hear? the ant fell off the back of the truck? Did ant. 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 Did you uh? Did you hear about the kidnapping in school the other day? No. It's okay, he woke up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I take can I with the bard who plays guitar, drum, or flute once a month? No. No. Uh, it's it's part of her minstrel cycle. Wow. Oh. Minstrel? Minstrel. All right, we're moving on, guys. She's a bird. <laughs> Come on. I said bird. Uh. All right. So when we left off of the break, our party was approaching Fox Glove Manor. Uh what you see before you is a Three, four, uh, three story building, um, but decent in size. Uh, there's not anything really, um, you know, it's, it, it's pretty, uh, pretty, uh, it looks pretty much like the houses around it as well. Um, it's loaded. Lo it, you guys are standing in the grand arch district, not far from Star, Sil uh, Star Silver Plaza. Um, you don't see any lights on in the building, um, and it looks like uh, all the vegetation there is either slightly overgrown or uh, getting to the point where it's uh, browning and dying. Um, so, hmm. boards Either have his been nailed. Landscaper is missing. Boards Martin have been nailed again. Boards <laughs> have been nailed over the windows on the ground floor, um, and uh, yep. Well, I mean, this place looks like it's in similar repair to the other place we went to. Yeah, no kidding. Should we expect the same uh, welcoming party, if you will? Well, there's an easy way to find out. We just try and light the place on fire. Huh. If that only there were a better so way. so well for you. I know. It's a genius way. <laughs> um, if but... it doesn't burn, it's a witch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! And then you're gonna drown it. Right? <laughs> right. yes. Yeah, that's right. right. What else floats? A duck. <laughs> Churches. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. I feel like Desna's gonna be mad at you. <laughs> Too late. That ship has sailed. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, I guess all uh, you said all the all the windows on the ground floor are boarded up. Uh, all the all the windows are. Yep, all the windows. Okay. What about um, the doors? Huh. Is that to keep yeah. prying eyes out or to keep people from going? Oh, I did say the ground floor. I'm so, I, I'm sorry. I did say the ground floor. My fault. Okay. Uh, no the doors are not boarded up. Key bricks. Okay. Um, yeah. I would like to try the key for Foxglove Manor before I do anything else. What? In one of the doors. <laughs> trying a key what is this i really think we should just try knock but okay i guess well i produced the key and i hand it over to eat bricks 
I try it in one of the doors and see if it works. Uh, you, the the door opens up. The lock unlocks. What do you know? Sorcery. No, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> that was all her. Do you know magic? That was amazing. I, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. All, all right. right. Uh, so you are standing in a. Uh, I'm going to share something with you in a second here. Um, ooh. And I, I like will, secrets. It's not. A, it's not a secret. It's not oh, a secret. Piece of candy. Never mind. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Bolt. And since Edebrex, I'll put you there. And you guys can put yourself wherever you would like to be. Hmm. Well, I'll be off to this to the side here. Right next to Edebrex. Uh to her left, I believe I am. Before anybody goes in, I turn and look at everybody and I point my finger at him and I'm like, remember what happened last time? Don't touch anything. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Like we would touch things. Come on. No, no. She has a point. <laughs> I, we're fine. We're not going to touch a thing. Right. It breaks, right I'm as ready. You slide the key into the door. You turn it to the side. It unlocks. The door swings open in front of you. You, uh, as you look into the room, you see a uh, table with two chairs. Uh, two, uh, directly in front of you is a set of double doors. And on your left hand and right hand side are two doors that branch off as well. Okie dokie. Um, I'm going to kind of look back at everybody real quick and set foot inside. I definitely put you guys on the wrong side of the map. So I am cool. definitely going to do something real quick. Uh, boom. Magic, guys. Magic. Whoa. Magic. Oh my gosh, oh, oh, everyone's it's... just being oh, God. across the map. Uh, <laughs> players. <laughs> Ogres uh, and players. I that fast in my life. <laughs> All right. Gosh, this that, is a doorway. It was the portal to a whole new world. A whole Don't you dare new close your eyes. <laughs> 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 Uh, hold on. Fantastic point of view. Can you guys not look at the map for a second for me, please? Ah, uh, close my eyes. All right, everybody, close their eyes. Let's put another window in front of it. I was like, I'm not even looking at it right now. <laughs> All right, so you guys are standing uh, because I'm a professional DM and I offer my oh, services yes. for money. Uh, you guys are standing at the uh, the door. Patreon.com. <laughs> Patreon.com. Um, you know, uh, you guys are, you open the double doors and you look into a foyer. Um, and there, there's a giant rug in front of you. There's a pots and plants to the left and the right. Edebricks, you do see a window uh, to your right hand side on the easternmost wall. Um, okay. And to your west or your, on your left hand side to the west side of the building you see a door into another area as well. Uh, directly oh. directly in front of you is a double set of doors uh, and uh, off to your right a little bit, uh, probably 20, 20 feet in front of you is, it looks like a, a set of stairs. All right. Um, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to still have taken a step in. Wow, guys, I've never been in this house before at all in my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm going to, kind of like look up the like i'm assuming these are the stairs like right kind of diagonally to where i am diagonally to the right ahead of me yes yeah 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 as I'm gonna you kinda like peek around the corner and kind of look up the stairs <laughs> okay as you look in it looks like the stairs go up about um you know like five ten feet and then mm -hmm. curve off to the uh which would if you are looking up the stairs it would be the to your left hand side it wraps around yeah. and up okay as she starts to approach that, I, I walk in, I like run my hand across the door and I go over to one of the plants and I like start fiddling with it. I'm like just touching it a lot. I'm like oh. I turn around and I <laughs> I shake my head and I just stare at Eda Bricks and I point at Davdathos. They seem real though. Look at this. They, they feel real. Do they we feel are real. real. Actually. What? I, I, oh God. I walk Where up behind them and I cast Detect Magic. Oh. Um, 
Alrighty. To help him determine if the plants are in fact <laughs> real. Uh, okay, so you are concentrating on the plants, and that which one to the left or to the right? Uh, the one that Davidathos is touching aggressively after being be told to touch the right. nothing. <laughs> the plant does not glow uh, with a magic aura. Okay, and with that, I'll shift my gaze around the room to see if I can hone in on anything in our immediate area, I guess. I do not believe so, but I will double check for because I'm a, good, I'm a professional DM. You can cycle back to that later. No okay. big. Again, his services are available for money. <laughs> Just, oh my gosh, <laughs> throwing that out there. <laughs> Not um, only DMing services. Oh, I can't talk about that. All right. All right. Yeah. But check out his OnlyFans and <laughs> you can find out more. We oh should do God. an OnlyFans and just make it silly. We should do an OnlyFans. <laughs> we can just release some stuff on Patreon. We have one. Yeah. Speaking yeah. Which, check out our Patreon. <laughs> can we um, do a calendar? Uh, I'm really <laughs> really glad. Oh, oh my God. Calendar. We should do I'm a calendar. Totally do a calendar. Oh, wow. I want to do one. Be like, calendar. what would people pay for a silly calendar? What twenty bucks? Is that good? <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to twelve do a, a buck album. a month. There you go. I I yeah, do that. You wanna you wanna work on a holiday uh, album with me? Absolutely yes. All right, cool. <laughs> Mike, you're not invited. <laughs> yeah, I want to be. I want to sing on it. I want to. We can oh, sing. Man. All I want for Christmas is dice. I'll, that, that I'll would let be you do. Song. I'll let you do Little Drummer Boy. That's it. Oh, uh, can I do the uh, can I do the the bell song? Dun, 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 All only no, if you no, record no, no lyrics in that, right? <laughs> only if you record exactly, every I'll... single part of it. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's as long as Dave is closed, he'll pay thirty. <laughs> I don't know if I can promise anything. <laughs> no promises. I'll, I'll go around shirtless with like a Viking helmet and axe throwing dice and stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I would like, just like stick arrows in random places around the wall. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what are you guys doing? Um. I'm kind of just, uh, I'm following Edebrick, so she seems to uh, be taking the lead, and I kind of appreciate that. <laughs> but while she's doing it, I'm like, I'm following her, and I'm like looking around and seeing if I can spot any any minor details that might be of interest. Give me a perception, please. My pleasure. It is a 15 plus 14 for 29. You see plants, a rug, a staircase, a set of doors in front of you to the north, as well as <laughs> to, to your uh, west, there is a door on the western wall, and the northwestern wall, there is a door as well. So I, I tap me high on the shoulder, and I just point to one plant, and I go, plant. I tap him again, I point to the other one, second plant. I'm nodding tap as I scan my focus around to all the things he points at. <laughs> I'm staring like at the rug. I glance at the earbreaks as I continue to carefully step behind them all. <laughs> I just keep pointing I'll, out all the little things in the room. I'll um, I'll kind of look at everybody and be like, double doors or I vote double doors. I slipped my axe off my back and I kind of shrug I move up to the doors and I kind of stop for a second and listen to see if I hear anything on the other side give me a perception please uh, I would like to use uh, I have a plus one from bat duck from like three weeks ago to use so uh... ooh that's a 13 Uh, you do not hear anything. Okay. Um, I'm going to lean in a little bit closer to this plant that's beside me. What shape is it in? Is it well watered? I want to touch the soil. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jay. Oh, my God. I look over my shoulder. Guys, mm -hmm. the plant would be wilted if no one watered it in the last week. The soil would be dry. Ergo. Should this soil be wet? Holding up my hand to dramatically plunge it into the soil. <laughs> Should this <laughs> soil be wet? Odds are someone's here 
and maintaining this house. And with that, I dip my finger into the soil. I don't think you need knowledge nation for that. I think that's a logical assumption. But um, you, the soil's dry. Ah, no one's been watering this poor baby. Is it large enough for me to take with me? I, are you, <laughs> the way you phrase that <laughs> made me question. Is it my small t- enough? <laughs> yes, um, no, this me. is a, this is like a, like, uh, it's a big plant. It's probably about six <sighs> feet, uh, five feet tall. Mihai, I'll be back for inside. you, my friend. I've got we this. will water you. Mihai, and plant I'll... liberator. Oh my just... god. Had no, collector Mihai. plant liberator. It's an official title now. He's going to take a level of druid next level. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Mihai, I got this. And okay. I, I ask him to stand aside and I walk over and I... I'd I use my water a... skin, but it has lemon in it. I, I, I just put my hands together for a second and I ask Serenray. Uh, not Serenray. Serenray. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and no. lightning from um, Vesna strikes you where you uh, stand. <laughs> <laughs> no paladin of mine. The spiritual weapon of Desna appears. I'm like, I didn't call for you. And then it just strikes me in the chest. <laughs> Water the plants with your blood. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I, I just... <laughs> Butterflies pour from your wound <laughs> as you gasp your last breath. <laughs> Oh boy, I need help. Um, I'm gonna feed me sheep. Oh my God, <laughs> that's horrifying. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. We're so off track. So, uh, I'm gonna like channel energy and uh, well, not channel energy, but I'm gonna grab my holy symbol and and pray to uh, Desna real quick and cast uh, create water on the plant. And I'm gonna don't forget those other ones. Oh yes, you're right. I'll go over to the others and I I do the same thing and and uh, I is water it can- them. Is it cantrip? It is, yes. Uh, can you control the amount of water? Uh, up to, yes. I can okay. do up to however many gallons. So How I many gallons? Accidentally, w- I'm, I'm going to do like a quarter of a gallon. Okay. Even though I could do up to 10 gallons at a time. Okay. You successfully yeah. water the plants. Oh, my God. I award you no XP, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, Mihai, our job here is done. I I don't think anyone's in the house. That was a very long way to get to it, but I think we're alone. Now? There doesn't seem to be anybody around? Beating of our hearts is the only sound. (laughs) He gets that one? He gets that one, Luna. I get that one. Come on. That was my first concert ever. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I like that song. That and New Kids on the Block. I could see that. Yeah. I definitely see that. Well, we're off topic. Anyway, um, so uh, I'm going to gently walk up to Eda Bricks and I see her listening to the door, correct? Yes. Oh, listening at the door. <laughs> <laughs> what is the door telling you? Thing. Hmm. Interesting. No, nope, I got your back if you want to open it. Um, I'm still talking I, the plant. <laughs> I uh, I check the door and see if it opens. The door, in fact, open. In fact, opens to a room with a table and two chairs in it. Uh, beyond Whoa. that is a no door, way. is a double set of doors to the north. Uh, on your left and right hand side, there are doors as well. Guys, I'm having deja vu. I feel like I've seen this room before. What? What? <laughs> What? You're no. supposed to say, I feel like I've seen this room before. Way to no. kill it. Thanks, Luna. God oh, damn it. Can't say I've ever heard <laughs> of it. Um, well, wait, you're having deja vu? That's not no, good. Everyone lock down the room. Vu. Most likely a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> um, so I'm going to step into that room, and there's nothing else. It's just the table and chairs. Correct. I'm going to open the door that's immediately to my right. And what you see, Luna, is a little sitting room. Uh, there is a bookcase uh, on the northern wall and on the eastern wall. Uh, on the eastern wall, there is a, a, a window as well. Um, you see two comfortable chairs with a little table. Um, and this appears to be a sitting and reading room. 
I'm going to stop. I'm going to step into the room and I'm going to listen to see if the bookcases are talking. Give me a perception. <laughs> That's a 21. <laughs> the bookcases are not, in fact, talking, but you do hear a, a noise, uh, a little bit of a, some kind of noise from upstairs. Um, There's nobody... Uh, Davdathos, you're not directly behind me, correct? Mm, about 10 feet behind you. I'm still, I'm not in the room right behind you. I haven't okay. gone through the double doors yet. I'm going to step back out to the other side of the double doors. Does that door stay open when you open it, or is it like a swinging door that closed behind me? Which one? The double door. Uh, you can choose to have it open if you'd like. Okay, so I left that open behind me. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm going to... Uh, it, out, it, it opens outwards to where Davdathos is standing right now, okay. so it would be uh, open against that wall that Davdathos okay. is standing right next to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna duck back out from the sitting room. I'm gonna look kind of around the door, the corner, and be like, Davdathos, I think there's something upstairs. Really? I, I just know. Something. let me take a listen. I'm gonna go in and uh, just kind of calm my mind and see if I can hear anything. Uh, 27 on perception. Dabdathos, you hear uh, uh, what sounds like some, something upstairs uh, trying to be quiet. Yeah, I, I hear that, Edabrex. You're right. We gotta let everyone else know. We're not alone. Alright. Um, I'll go back out. Um, Gunner, you're right, right where you are on the map. Is that about right? Gunner? Yeah, that's about right. Um, I don't think I want to go too far. I think I want to protect our sexes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be like, Gunner, dabbed with us and I just heard something upstairs. I kind of shift. Closer. I shiftily look left and right. And I look to her. And like, I motion me upstairs. Question, like, question. I don't, I don't know. We heard it from, if, if we, if I stop and listen again, could I, could I try to hear it again from where I'm standing? Yeah. Okay. You can always try. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to use, um, my plus one from, uh, press X to jump. And. <laughs> 13. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you don't hear anything at the moment. Okay. Like, so I'll be like, I don't, I don't hear it right now. But it did I sound heard. like they were trying to be quiet. Hey, you heard it too? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, we went. Which down, direction? We found a sitting room down in the back and we could hear it from there. I just so point I up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, cast detect magic upward, like staring <laughs> at the ceiling, trying to determine if there's any magical entities or objects above us. All right. You don't sense any magic. I got nothing. Hmm. Well, I definitely heard something. And Edebrick's heard it too, so I think we should progress cautiously. Well, we what about these other doors? Gesturing Do to my left? Yeah. Do we want to go upstairs and check it out first, or do we want to stay on this floor and clear the floor first? What if one person stands guard at the staircase and the other opens the doors here? We'll all be inside of each other. Okay. I'm sorry, we'll be what? <laughs> In, inside of each other. In sight. In sight. Got Within it. line sight. of sight. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Right. Wow. Right. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like a this, good plan. This one, perhaps. Anyone object if I open it? I put my hand on the handle. Go for it. I open the door. When you open the door, I'm going to uh -oh. need you to <laughs> look around the room real quick. <laughs> uh, in mm, front of you bitch. is a is a, 
uh, a small table uh, uh, kind of tucked off in the corner and uh, uh, there's a, like another six foot table beyond that and there's a, uh, some shelves on the right hand side as you walk in. Okay. Um, I just like lean my head in without fully going into the room. Anything of interest on that table or uh, the shelf? Mm, I mean... Pretty empty me, room? Or give maybe... me a perception. Yeah, great. Okay. I'm awesome at that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I saw the roll on, before skills. the game. That was your best ever. Yeah, I know. And now you roll a one. Uh, 14. Oh, <laughs> uh, you don't see like it looks like it hasn't been used in a little bit. Um, there's a, a little thin layer of dust on everything in there. Okay. Uh, would I be able to ascertain that the door at the furthest north would double back into that double door room? You can't tell from here. Okay, I'm just going to turn back. Oh, do you have, yeah, do you have dungeoneering? Clear. Do you have dungeoneering? I do, yeah. Give me a dungeoneering roll. Yeah, sure. Uh, that is a six. You're not sure. Yeah, I don't know. There's another door up there, but this room's clear. Other door. Any objections? Looking back at the nope. party. I'm just going to move to a position where I can see him is all. I'm going to step to the side of this door. And Bring reach over and just kind of like throw it open. Okay. You throw it open and from within, you see a circular rug. Uh, on that circular rug, there appears to be a crate. A crate, you say? Yeah. Crates have brought me great value. I immediately walk in. Can I tell anything about this crate? Uh, above you, I just want to give you a quick description. There is a, a to the to the north of you. There is a door. Uh, there is also windows on all three other walls besides the room you came. Um, the the side you came in. So the, the north, south, and west side. There's a uh, windows as well. Um, it's a crate. It's a wooden crate. Uh, Gunner, come open this thing. You could pry the lid off this, right? Gunner steps closer and, and moves to the doorway. I step aside. Um, look at this. Looking in, I kind of like peer around the building or peer around the room and look back at Eda Bricks and Davdathos and step up to the crate. It could be um, valuable clues. Of course, it could be filled with gold, but you know, what would we do with it then? Mm. I kind of stare blankly at him. <laughs> <laughs> could be a beast that wants to eat us. Whatever. Could be anything. It could be anything. Um, are there any seams or anything on the on the box? It's just a. It looks like it's uh, you know the top has been uh, you know secured with some nails. Could be okay. trapped. Is there like any sort of gap? I mean, you feel like you could work something in between the uh, you know the where it's nailed down. Okay. While he's uh, doing that, I'm gonna peer out the window. Longingly, or yeah, just kind of like looking around. I look back to Edabrix and I kind of motion her over when she like glances in my direction. I come over. I'm gonna try to do the looking for traps thing. Can can you help me? Yes, I will help with that. Okay. Well, if you're both in here, I better go watch those staircases. I step back out with Davidathos. So, for the RP aspect. Gunner's gonna try to do what Edabrix has shown him, but I'm I'm guessing for like rules and whatnot. Do you want to roll looking for traps, Edabrix? Sure. Um, I'm gonna use my other plus one from press X to jump. Uh, twenty-seven. How do you want to work this, Mike? Uh, she's assisting you. Um. She's been teaching me how to like look for traps and, and open locks and stuff like that. But uh, trap finding is a thief feat. I know I'm going to be taking it next level. Okay. Um, so I'm, like I'm I'm learning how to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So, so maybe she's like watching over your shoulder and telling you what to do. Like what? Yeah, that kind of like thing. That's how I would explain it. But I don't know mechanically how you would want to it. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. it would it would fail because it's a thief feat. So I mean, our thief uh, attribute. 
Okay. Isn't finding well finding just a hidden trap? It's probably not for like a door or something. It's just a perception check. But well, trap finding is a class feature for rogues. Yeah. Yeah. So it actually should be a because it's half my level um, added to a perception check for locating and disabling device checks. So it actually should be a. Do we round up? Round up. So thirty. I'm sorry. Round down. My, my fault. 29. 29. <laughs> uh, but you are attempting to de de disable device, Edebricks, or? No, I'm just attempting to check and see if it was trapped at all. Oh, it's not trapped. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, my fault. I misunderstood. Yeah, no, okay. that's fine. I was just reading the trap finding thing, so everybody was clear. Yep. Um. <laughs> so instead, I could be more like just pointing it out to Gunner, like, I'm going to check here, here, here. You know, these are all the possible places a trap mechanism could be, that sort okay. of thing. Mihai is spinning in circles at the moment. <laughs> so I'm really excited. So once she shows me the steps that she takes, I kind of nod. Yeah. And um, I'll use the edge of the blade to kind of like wedge between the seam, of the lid, and like the rest of the body of the box, and I'll pry it open. All right, give me a strength check. Okay. Okay. Oh, at the six. Uh, you attempt to pry it open, Gunner, but uh, you are unable to get some uh, get good leverage and pop the top off. Okay. Can I try it at a different side or at a different angle? Uh, or should I wait for a bit? Probably wait for a little bit. Okay. Kind of stare at the box perplexed, look back at the other two, look back at the box, try to find something else. Dab with us. Yes. From upstairs, a voice calls down to you. It says, hey, who's down there? And the voice is very familiar. Um, you know, you uh, it, it 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 you've heard this voice many a time, and uh, uh, the the voices of Alder and Foxglove. And he says, "Me and Lesha, yes, Lesha upstairs. Who's who's down there?" Lesha, that was uh, that was his 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 wife. Wife who was dead. Um, I, I just look over to me. I'm like, all right. Just play it cool. Go with it until we figure Don't out what's going on. Don't trust him. doesn't water his plants. Don't trust him. I know. But okay, I think I got we got a. I think Wait. we got an answer. Uh, I walk over to the door and I inform the other two of what's happening. Um, I'm gonna answer back and I'm just gonna be like, "Oh, hello. We didn't think anyone was here. How's it going?" Da Dabbed with us? Is that you? Yes. Oh boy. Is Gunner yes, down is. there? Is Gunner down there? Oh my god. Uh you know, I, I uh he he might be. I, I didn't quite notice when I walked in. <laughs> Do I recognize I, his voice? Can I roll a perception check? Yeah. Yep. Roll a perception. Yep. That's a sixteen. Oh you ha a chill creeps into your back as you realize that Aldern is uh calling down to you. Gunner! Gunner, you down there? Uh you hear I footsteps go. And they oh. come down the steps, and Aldern is standing before you. Uh, a couple seconds later, gracefully, a lot more gracefully, uh, a, a beautiful woman follows down behind Aldern. Does she look painfully, undeadly familiar? Like uh, those she, looks, <laughs> she looks, um, <laughs> she looks uh, flesh and blood, and you know, rosy cheeks. And uh, as she comes down and looks at uh, and sees uh, Dabdathas and Mihai. Um and off to the corner into the other room. She uh she smiles at you all. Greetings. I scan the room Welcome for bookends. <laughs> uh greetings. Um I presume you guys are the heroes of Sandpoint. Welcome to Foxglove Manor. Uh yes. Where's thank wait, you? Wait, 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 where's Gunner? Where's Gunner? Where's Gunner? Wait, where's Gunner? Uh I'm sure he'll turn up soon. I step out of the room blocking the doorway to hide Gunner! <laughs> Hi. Sorry, I was coughing. <laughs> His voice is a little excited. So, um, Gunner, what's going on? Gunner, oh, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, uh, how does he look, Mike? Um, this, uh, he looks exactly like a Usarum when you guys were boar hunting. How swole is so he? So, not as big and swole this time. <laughs> no. Hmm. Oh. I well, this is troublesome. 
Guys, we're, what, are you, what are you guys doing in Sandpoint? I mean, what are you guys doing in Magmar? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> quick, 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 quick! All darn, uh, all darn. Quick question. We we can save that. Uh, we can save that talk for later. Friends, would you would you join us for dinner? I'd love to present this, uh, the heroes of Sandpoint dinner. Huh. I mean, that sounds lovely. Um, just a quick question. Uh, it's a. Uh, I mean, obviously, very rude of us to barge into your home. I apologize. Um, no, but, no, uh, no offense taken. You guys uh, have been very good to my husband, and uh, from what I understand, you have taken p care of the uh, the town of Sandpoint. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, Aldrin, uh, last we saw you, you were you were in Sandpoint. I, I'm curious as to how you got here so quickly. When was I? When was I in Sandpoint? Oh boy, just a couple of weeks ago, actually. Smack him in the back, roughly. Like I, full handed open palm. I think, fun. I think the last time I saw you guys is when uh after the uh after the boar hunt. Really? Interesting. I mean, you know, Lesha and Lesha looks at you guys and she's like, Yeah, uh Gunn has been conducting business here in town. Gunner has I mean, been? I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, Aldern has been <laughs> conducting business here in town. Professional DM services available for you. I sword on Gunner. Yeah. That's strange. I, I believe we it's met one me. of your clients earlier. Um, uh, can I? They... Go ahead. Sorry, can I just uh, sense motive on, on what we're being told here? Sure. Yeah. Uh, that is a ugh, two plus eight for ten. You're confident they're uh, telling the truth. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, I don't know. We just, we've been through a lot, and uh, there was a um, lot of a lot of confusion happening in Sandpoint. But hopefully, everything's sorted out now. What What was going on in Sandpoint? Oh, you know, I mean, there's there was that whole goblin attack and everything, and then oh yeah, the yeah, I was aware of that. Was there something after yeah. that? Did you hear about the murders? No, and no, I haven't been there in a while. Hmm. Was that after everything, after the goblins, or? Yeah, it was. As a matter of fact. Hmm. Can you, can you film me? You know what? Why not, Lesho? Can uh, let's get some food going for our friends here, and we can sit down around. And we can do, we can catch up around the table. Um, Gunner's face immediately jumps up, hearing her name. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we're just gonna. Uh, that sounds fantastic. I think we we'd all be thrilled to uh have dinner with you and and talk about what the hell is going on here um <laughs> but yeah um let me just uh you know catch up with my friends here and uh we'll uh we'll, we'll definitely join you in, in the other room in a minute okay well we did have that one thing to do outside before yes. we settle in there was that gentleman waiting for us uh let's just go tell him we're gonna have supper here and uh, Ooh, we'll be right back. Party. That's a great idea. <laughs> Are you bluffing? Yes, I am. Give me a bluff <laughs> roll, please. Sure, I'll uh, add a plus one from Katie. Thank you, Katie. Uh, my bluff is a 28. Okay. I mean, yeah, you can uh, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but you know, I mean, I'd love to catch up with you guys. Like this is such a great honor for us. Oh, don't worry, we will. Yeah. We just uh we'll step outside, we'll be back in I don't know, three or four minutes if that's okay. Okay. Uh so Sounds great. Where are you guys gonna go? Just out the front door, like out into We'll, let's just like walk out into the street and around the corner so we're at the side of the house. As your hand touches the front door, Mihai, and you go to leave, suddenly uh, they scream at you and they say, Justice I and Briar is no fool. Your time is here. And with that, we're going to be on initiative. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, okay. Show of uh, hands. Can you see that one coming? <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, let me do this. Uh, and give me some initiatives, please. 
Yeah, I rolled a 12. I, I rolled a 12, too. I'm a 19. And also a 19. <laughs> That's the weirdest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> two um, 12s, two 19s. <laughs> I didn't do this, and I have to. Okay, so on the steps and on the steps or i mean in the uh thing um so as they scream and you guys look uh their face uh the their face kind of melts away uh and what you see before you is uh this um it their their skin kind of melts away like wax and uh, a kind of a formless uh, humanoid type creature uh, stands mm. before you uh, with long claws, uh, two of these, uh, where Lesha and uh, Aldern uh, previously uh, were standing. Uh, and the, uh, the one closest to you, Dabdathas, uh, actually, uh, the one on the stairs uh, steps down and looks at Dabdathas and says, him first him and uh takes a five foot step in and is going to i got an initiative thing around um initiative and, thing around technical terms right and <laughs> is going to uh uh bring forth a long sword um you're not sure where from think about yeah. it and uh <laughs> oh, no and takes don't a, let that thing touch me <laughs> takes a swing for ac oh critical threat does uh okay so uh, 19 wow. plus eight for 27. I'm guessing that hits. That will hit with me. Okay. Yeah. So the confirmation at 19 plus eight for 27 hits as well. That's yeah. Um, Whew. so let's start with damage, please. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I got a good smack to the face like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Evie, I think you have to check your hit points because I don't think you who's have one. Evie. <laughs> yeah, uh, eat a bricks. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be the damage. Uh, so he hits you for 17 points of damage, and I need a d20 roll from you, please. Hey, Mike, can I get a quick knowledge check to see what the hell these things are? On your turn, yep. Thank you. Yep. Two. Two. Let's see what that means. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where Davdathos finally finishes. <laughs> yeah, my life. <laughs> In a Man didn't say how. He rolls a two <laughs> to resist orgasm. Uh, <laughs> I succeed. <laughs> uh, Devdathas, you are currently hamstrung, which means you are slowed for... Give me a d6 roll. Sure. That's a five. Uh, five rounds. And slowed... Let me see if the condition is listed in the combat thing. Where did they all go? <laughs> right? That's what I keep saying. It just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> like there used to be like twenty uh, conditions. I see it. I see it. You see where you see it in the combat modifiers? Yeah, in the well, in the effects list. Interesting. <laughs> I don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to apply it to myself? <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at modifiers. I'm sorry. That'll do uh, it. Uh, yep. slowed. Interesting. So slowed on Dabdathas or can you, uh, I'll do it when it gets to your turn. Um, sure. Uh, and he looks at you and laughs wickedly and, uh, pulls the back, the blade with your blood on it and licks it off the blade. Um, yeah. and he now has drunken status for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, the next one, uh, and, and the one standing all, um, is going to five foot shift up and he's going to make a full round attack at you. So he's coming. He's going to try. He uh, as well. It. I keep on saying it. it he, but it's it uh, pulls forth a sword, uh, a long sword and is going to uh, uh, swing for 18 plus uh, 16 plus eight for 24. That's going to connect again. Okay. And does a 10 plus 2 for uh for a 12 hit? It does not. Okay. Uh so he hits you for uh one plus for five points of damage with the other sword. Uh, as the sword comes down, it hits you in the shoulder where the where armor meets and uh 
it 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 bounces off the armor, but it does a good uh good chunk of damage and as the uh, as your arm uh, uh goes numb from the effect. Mihai. Oh gosh. Um. In order to determine what I'm going to do, can I get clarification? This uh, southernmost one is kind I'm of say, straddling the line. Is it? I, I I'll put you. I, yeah, I, no, that's uh, that's valid. So I'll put him. in. he was right here. I'm sorry. He took. Okay. A, he had uh, taken a five foot step down. So that's the square. That's great. Uh, in that case, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to. It really is. Uh, I'm going to put my hands together. And cast grease. Oh no, the squares are still a little messed up, but that's the best I can do. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Yep. I'll cast grease on those uh, that ten square feet. Uh, sure. Hoping that these little beasts lose their footing. Okay. And uh, what's the DC? Um, it is. Oh shoot! I'm sorry. I'm like drawing a blank right now. Ten plus spell uh, level plus modifiers. your problem. Ten plus your spell level plus your spell mod uh your primary modifier and plus I think you have augmented uh summoning. Yeah, right? so ten level well a level one spell. Yep. Plus my level, you said? Nope. Your prime modifier. Oh, uh, plus four, so that's a fifteen total, plus two is seventeen. You get plus two from spell focus? Yeah, I have uh augmented conjuration uh focuses yeah sorry. i think it only gives a I'll one exactly. if i remember no right. there's two different ones though there's regular and greater i took them both you took greater so it's a plus two so 17 17 total okay um uh so the one standing directly uh in front of dab the Fla well i guess they're both standing directly uh the one to dab the flash is northwest uh falls to the ground prone and but the other one is able to stay up. Uh Davithas. Uh I'm gonna he... five foot step out. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, so this guy's is... able to take an attack of opportunity when he falls. When he gets up. Or... If he gets up. Okay. Yep. When he gets up. Got yep. it. Um if he ever gets up. If he gets up. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Uh so as you guys watch a a, a, a puddle of grease, uh uh, appears at the ground at uh, the feet of both of these creatures, and uh, they uh, one of them uh, is unsteady, but he's able to regain. Uh, they re are able to regain their footing um, or s keep their footing, and the, the other creature uh, falls to the ground uh, in on the pedigrees. It breaks. Um, I am going to step out. Um, let's see. So I'm going to step out to here. Uh so I'm right next to uh right next to Davdathos and Mihai and I'm going to um ready my short sword in case one of them the one that's directly in front of um Davdathos makes a move to do anything. Okay. <laughs> Gunner so i think it's time to move into action uh through the door five ten on mihai 15 past mihai and then a diagonal for 20. shoulder to shoulder with dabdathos as i glance past the others and and look at the ever wounded dabdathos bring my axe up and uh i'm gonna swing at the downed one <laughs> um I'm going to power attack okay. and use a plus one that I got from Elfie last week. Okay. Um, so that'll be a minus three. And swing off with that massive great axe with an overhead swing. All right. So as Gunner steps forward, maneuvers around his, uh, uh, maneuvers around his wounded friend, Dabdathos. He steps up to the creature and swings for AC. That is a 15 without the prone modifier. Okay. As he steps around, he, uh, he tries to land a mighty blow on the creature, uh, and is able and uh, unable to do so. What is the, uh, the prone modifier give? The what? The prone modifier. He's not prone. Oh, I thought he fell on the grease. 
the one okay the, you're attacking the one directly in front of him yeah okay uh prone i think you have a plus four to hit him on the ground so that'd be 19. Okay. does the 19 hit him or no uh let's see um boom boom uh it does okay. yay So he takes a mighty hefty oh max damage of 24. Ooh. Mighty blow comes down on the creature on the ground, uh lodging in his chest. As it does so, blood splurts out of uh out of the wound. Gunner yanks back on his weapon and uh pulls it back to him. And I am finished. All right. Uh, I'm going to start off. Is there any kind of knowledge check I can do for these? Uh, this would be... Hold on one second. Let me double check. Um... Okay. Got a lot of great things planned for this turn. Things I wanted to do on the boat, but... I was uh, knowledge, Arcan hostage. knowledge Arcana would be the for this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, or Dungeoneering, so... Um, I'll do Arcana. I don't have Dungeoneering. That is a 19 plus 4 for 23. You know this creature standing before you is a faceless stalker. Um, this hairless, yeah, leathery sure biped, like biped has a face dominated by grotesque and unsettling whorls and slits instead of actual features. Uh, you know the creature can take on the appearance of uh, any other creature uh, using... Um, uh, uh, it takes 10 minutes, uninterrupted minutes, to uh, uh, to turn and to change shape into another creature. Um, uh, you know that performing this, uh, this, this change is uh, somewhat painful to the creature, uh, but the creature can maintain its new form indefinitely once it has achieved it. Um, it can change back mm -hmm. into its own form uh, at will and very quickly. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, when they change into another creature, they do not take on the, uh, the special abilities of that creature. Um, they, they retain the, uh, um, it's, uh, natural, it's natural abilities or unnatural, uh, as it's an aberration. So. Okay. All right. Um, so. What I am going to do is, uh, after taking that beating, I am going to cast Grace, which, uh, first of all, actually, you said I was slowed, right? Yes. What does slowed do? Because I'm not actually sure slowed is a condition in Pathfinder. It is, but... Uh, is it just movement speed, or...? Let me look it up. An effect creature moves and attacks at a drastically slower rate. Creatures affected by uh, the spell are staggered and can only, oh, can only take a single move action or standard action each turn, but not both. Okay, because I couldn't find it on the list of conditions for Pathfinder. I found it for Pathfinder 2, but... Interesting, because it, it's in the thing. Um... Yeah. But, okay, so, I mean, you said I can only take a... Let me look. Give me give me fifteen seconds or twenty seconds. Uh, slow condition. Absolutely. I can do that for you. I see the spell. I'm looking at the spell, and it says it gives you the staggered condition. But it's hey, where's Coffin? I think he'd be weighing in by now. Yeah, he's not here. <laughs> I had asked him a question earlier. Yeah. yeah. Um. Boom. boom. Yeah, because I was trying to find it when you told me I was going to be slowed before. I was like, but what does it mean? What does it all mean? <laughs> double rainbow. Yeah, double rainbow. <laughs> so what does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we'll call back. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a, that is a whole Goodness. Uh, so we'll, let's look at the staggered condition. Hold on. Okay. that's what the spell gives you right so 
staggered is a uh, staggered creature may take a single move action or standard action each round, but not both. So yep. basically, yeah. Uh, Let's do that. Let's go with describing. that. Okay. okay. Uh, I can still take free, swift, and immediate actions. Good. It's on your That's... turn, so I can I can change it to five rounds rather than. Yeah. Um. Oh, you're double slowed at the moment. That's. Oh, Hold good. On. So, uh, so four rounds from now. Okay. All right. You're good. All right. All right. Cool. So uh, I guess I will probably only take a move action, but since I can still do uh, swift actions, I'm going to cast Grace, uh, which is a swift action, and it will until the end of my turn. Uh, my movements do not provoke attacks of opportunity. Oh, excellent. Yeah. So I'm going to. Uh, is that from your uh, travel school? No, that's just a level two spell. Oh, nice. Excellent. Yep. Yep. So I'm going to... Uh, but are you still cast? Ask... Are you still casting it in... I mean, it's a swift action. But is it a spell? I mean, yes. Okay. Is the cast time instant? Yes. But you don't have to stand there and cast it. Right. It's a swift, swift cast, yeah. It's instantaneous. I mean, so to me, it makes sense. Like, what would be the point of having it if you couldn't cast it in combat? Um, yeah. Right. Uh, but I'm just going to take a quick look. Okay. And the only other point would be if you wanted to cast it so you could move past enemies, I guess. Right, right. Yeah. But Can you five foot still? I would, and I cast? would think a spell would have to have a, a cast time for them to take Oh, the spell's in the game. Hold on. Attack. Give me one second. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, spells... Yeah. Well, you're staggered. Can you still five foot adjust, Dave? Uh, yeah, that'd be my move action, technically. Oh, would it? Okay. Would yeah. it? Because I thought the five foot would be a free action. Yeah, uh, that's it... what I was saying. So Worst you case, bring... you could five foot, take it's it, and five... then move where you want. I don't believe a five foot's a free action. It's just you. It's a, you can take it instead of your move action to not provoke. I thought you could do both. You could five foot. No, you can't like move. do an action. No, you and can't then five move. foot and move. You could yeah. five foot and swing though. Yeah. Okay. But that would be your move action, the five foot. I'm gonna roll right now for the sake of uh moving on that you it, you won't get an attack of opportunity. If I find otherwise in the future, we'll talk about it. Okay. okay. I it doesn't make sense to me. The only other application, like you said, would be like, hey, I want to move through that threat range without getting crushed. Right. But if well, you're doing it as yeah. a swift action, then it's to disengage from combat, I would imagine. So Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to do that, and uh, I am going to take my uh, move action to run away and get into the other room. Okay. And that'll be me. Okay. I high-five him as he runs by, and then I'm like, wait, what? Where are you? <laughs> as I'm, like, bleeding, I'm like, oh, I hurt so much. And then just... <laughs> All right, so the, uh, the, the, the creature standing right directly in front of Gunner uh, rears back and comes with a mighty overhand swing uh, and is going to attack uh, Gunner with his sword for is an 8 plus 2 for uh, for 10 hit. You're muted. Uh, no, that does not. Okay. 17 plus 8 for a 25. That does. Okay. So uh, he attempts to slam you and then he's attempting to come across, uh, follow up with a sword uh, with a sword thrust. So as he thrusts that sword, it connects with your your collarbone, and he does how many points of damage? Uh, uh, that does uh ten points of damage, Gunner. So as it it it, it hits your collarbone, uh, it reverberates down through the muscle and the bone, and uh, blood starts flowing freely freely from that wound. Okay. All uh, right. The other one is going to crawl back uh, uh, and try to get out of the grease and uh, stands up uh, outside the grease uh, it, uh, behind you, uh, behind the grease uh, towards that, that double door. Uh, just outside that double door. Is it like half or open no? speed? Yeah. But it, okay. it has more than a 20 foot movement speed. So I wasn't saying you're incorrect. I just wanted to know for future. Don't episodes. question my authority. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sure you're right. I just wondered how it worked. Uh, so essentially what he's doing is a full retreat. 
uh to get out of the grease so okay yeah okay mihai it's your turn um hmm goodness i will cast magic missile at the one standing in front of gunner okay uh so i'll put my hands together and start conjuring forth three bolts and launch them forward with great force uh at the body of the creature remember with great force comes great responsibility this is true i do not take responsibility well so let's see how these hit uh one for two damage second oh. for three damage okay. yes no no go ahead i gotta do something okay. after us. yeah and the third for two damage as well uh, uh so a total, of, so a total seven. of seven okay all right, so as the darts impact into him, sparks fly off him, it yelps and, and, and it kind of screeches, makes a weird, uh, uh, unearthly sound as, the, uh, as they impact. Uh, so, Davdathas, on your turn, because he ended his turn in standing, I'm sorry, Mihai, because he stood, ended his turn standing in the grease, he has to make another check to see if he's still standing, okay? Um, oh, yeah, so sure. Uh, it wouldn't have affected my chance to hit anyway. Right. So, yeah. uh, so he makes it. All right, she is currently still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat bricks. I would like to take a five foot step in, so I'm standing next to Gunner, and I'm going to uh, swing my short sword at the one that's standing right in front of him. Yep. And so, um, eat right a bricks. <laughs> nimbly darts forward around the uh, perimeter of the grease, uh, slides up to her friend uh, Gunner, and then is going to try to stab her sword into the creature. Yes, cool. I'm going to use uh, my plush one from Katie Machen from two weeks ago. Okay. And, and what are we? Uh, what did you roll for to hit? Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, and that is a hit. Oh, I, I don't know why it didn't. I know. I was, that's the way. It's a hit. I know. It's, I, okay. Yep. Cool. Um, so let's see. Short sword. And... That is uh, four damage. Okay. Uh, Edelbrex, you are you successfully dart around and come up with your sword, and you uh, you you have a nice little slicing blow along the, the knee-ish part of the creature, um, yeah. and blood starts to drip out of it. Dabdathos, what I forgot to tell you is the name of the creature is a Yugathal. U-G-O-Yugathal. So, or, hmm. faceless, or more commonly known as a faceless stalker. Gotcha. Okay. Peter Bricks, okay. anything else on your turn? Uh, no, sir. All right, Gunner, it is now your turn, sir. Fantastico. So I'm going to turn my attention to the gentleman directly to the north of me. Creature, oh. sorry. Yep. Um, and first and foremost, I'd like to make a knowledge check to see if I can think of any weaknesses for what is a Yugathal. Sure. Um, which skill would you like? Uh, Dungeoneering or Arcana? Okay, I've got Dungeoneering, so we'll be rolling that. And there's an 18. Uh, you know this is a Faceless Stalker. You know it has the ability to change into uh, the appearance of other other, uh, uh, other uh, figures or humanoids. I believe it's limited to humanoids, so. Okay, no weaknesses that I can think of offhand? Nope. Okay. Um, at that oh, point... I forgot. Okay, so I forgot to mention. Uh, Davdathos, you would know this, okay, based on your role. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, this is my fault. He has, uh, uh he has, re he's resistant to anything but pierce. He's resisting to bludgeoning weapons. So, uh, uh, piercing or slashing. Uh, wait, wait, how? I'm reading this wrong. Again, he's got his DR services are available. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm so bad at this. I'm so lucky. Uh, he has DR5 piercing or slashing. Piercing or slashing, break that. So bludgeoning uh, does not, uh, bludgeoning doesn't do a full effect. Okay, but the, okay. the axe does. All yes, right. yeah, because it's uh, slashing. Ye okay. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the same thing I did last turn with this creature i'm gonna use a plus one that i got from this day from alfie you're gonna cast a sword i mean great axe on him yes i'm gonna cast great axe okay. <laughs> i'm gonna power attack and uh swing off and the gentleman to the north of me 
All right. So as Gunner sees his foe in front of him, he uh, winds up with his great axe with a with a, a swinging blow coming into his side for AC. 17 to hit. All right. It connects into the side of the creature for how many points of damage, Gunner? Uh, that will be a mighty 19 points of damage. All right. So as the blade impacts into the side of the creature, the creature uh, lets loose a gout of blood against, uh, you know, uh, out where the blade hit him, and he is definitely bloodied at this point. Okay. And on that note, I am finished. Dab with us. All right. I am going to switch out one of my spells and cast, uh, where is it? Not inflict moderate wounds, cure moderate wounds on myself. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, uh, channel the uh the energy of uh not serenre of desna and ask her to mend my wounds and uh as i focus real hard hopefully i heal for a really good amount let's find out as you cast the spell and you beseech your goddess to lay the healing power of desna upon you the magic does not flow through you and with that we're gonna end this week's session of what? the tabletop tavern what Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to just reverse that healing I needed so preciously. <laughs> you said Saran Ray, right? No, not, not Saran Ray. <laughs> oh, oh, I said oh, okay. not Saran Ray. I used oh, the word right. not. Oh, that I'd like you sense. to know that I clipped that and I sent it to Amanda and she about oh. died laughing. Oh, I know. I got a message from her. <laughs> 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 she's like, She's like, oh, you calling on my goddess? You want to fight? I was like, oh, shit. All right. Uh, <laughs> I am angering a lot of people today. Listen, listen, listen. I'm just saying when both campaigns get to epic levels, I mean, Seren Ray and, and uh, Desna, Desna. Can, can throw down. What's, up, what's, like what's, the, the, what's, the, what's the emblem of uh, Seren Ray? Fire? Mm. Of Seren Ray? Yeah, let's look at it. Somebody look it up for me. I'll look it up. Okay. All right, guys. So that was episode forty-nine of the Tabletop Tavern. This was uh, it was a uh, it was good to be back and, and be in the tavern tonight. Uh, we learned some new mechanics and we messed around with some new stuff. And uh, uh, I, you ran into your old friend Aldern and Lesha. Oh, uh, it's fire, by the way. It is fire, right? Yeah. So fire. I'm. Can fire you put up a butterflies? Exactly, Eater Bricks. <laughs> could you uh, put up a poll for me real quick and just see who? What do you think like is a moth to the flame? Like a moth. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You, who do you? Which goddess do you think would win? The goddess of butterflies or the goddess of fire? Let's just let's just <coughs> have a poll real quick on that. Wow. Um. Excuse me. I'm dying. Would, Sorry. One second. I would also like to point out that Desna is in the luck domain, so we could get lucky on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, butterflies let's butterflies roll a hundred consecutive crits <laughs> and do three damage. Yeah. Uh, I have such a good mechanic. I cannot wait to use on Davdathos. It's mm. it's gonna be so much fun. Um, it sounds like you're, you're already working on it. it. Oh, it's already yeah. it's already perfected. So. <laughs> All um, right. Uh, poll is up. It is three minutes. So you have three minutes to cast your vote. Send Manda a message <laughs> and have her come vote. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm put so my vote in for Desna. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's start with Gunner. Gunner, what, what's going on with you? What are you thinking at this point? Um, I'm thinking this is gonna get rough. This is gonna get interesting. Oh God! Oh God! Um, Gunner is all about confidence. He's just lit these two guys up, and he's like, you know. Desna and Serana are, are, are nice, but Odin brings the pain, son. <laughs> I came to bring the pain hardcore to your hardcore brain. To brain. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, so what do you think about the uh, the uh, appearance of your friend, uh, Aldern? Um, excuse me? friend yes you guys were like this you guys were like uh you know thick as thieves man yeah about that <laughs> um i will say i'm i was very drawn back and then knowing what i do know about the creatures it makes a bit more sense yep um gunner ain't a thinking man but um the fact that these creatures would be here to keep up appearances yep 
is um it makes a lot of sense and it gets the gears turning um gunner kind of wonders who put them here how they get here and knowing what we discussed about alder and, and his ghost wife that he murdered um and in gunner's mind aldern's dead so uh you know is this the power of the uh of the uh council that we were seeking and hunting you know that's kind of that thing going on in his head you know Alrighty. Mihai, what's going on with you, man? Um, geez. I don't know. I'm not sure what to think about all this. I'm glad the gunner seems to have an idea. <laughs> uh, monsters kill them. That's where Mihai's head is. <laughs> <laughs> they are monsters in two ways because they don't water their damn plants. Y'all crazy from the man to man. <laughs> um we should have added another variable bookcase um but uh, it's, he, that's neither here nor there oh that's a whole separate clip because yeah. you know we did that already dabbed with us as you take a oh, sip oh this is fun yeah this is fun you like this mm. you like this mm -hmm. yeah he, i have i have not had good experiences the past two combats he's critted all over you he critted all over you oh uh, god last Last combat, I was held pretty much the entire fight. Couldn't do anything. You just got a hug. And this, he, he just cut. You yeah. got you got cuddled. And then this time, I've been walloped in the face, and I can only take one action a turn. So, and apparently, my heal doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, now another another fantastic combat for me. Uh, but I have to say, I was really really surprised when Aldern came down. I was just like, all right. Obviously, this doesn't make sense. So play it cool and let's see what happens. Yeah, and you, but, you believe that they were honest. You know, you you perfectly I mean, yeah. believe that they were telling you the truth at face value. So I honestly thought for a second that the Aldern we killed might have been an imposter. But hundred percent, I was on that train. Yep, not gonna a little lie, kind of caught me. Yeah, but apparently not. Oh well. <laughs> Eat a bricks. Eat a bricks. Eat a yep. Eat a bricks. Eat a bricks. Yep. Eat a bricks. Yep. 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 Um. So Red Mary run that pole by a landslide. Uh. Just oh, after that. I want to recount. It was yeah. nine to three. <laughs> so. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I. Uh. For a very brief second, I was like, maybe the Lean one forward. that we killed Lean wasn't forward. really. No, Lean. I don't want to. Lean forward. There you go. Hey. <laughs> uh, maybe the i thought maybe the like for a very brief second i thought maybe the one that we uh had killed in in sandpoint was um you know like a, a fake aldern but uh i i sort of hopped off that pretty quickly i was like i don't think so this just doesn't feel right so um yeah i don't know okay. so um yeah, I don't know, but this was, I mean, this was kind of fun. It was a nice little twist thrown in, so uh, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty, uh, so guys, my name is Mike. This is the Hotwire Nerd Channel. Uh, my thoughts from tonight is, our, it's good to be back. It, you know, we missed a week, but it's good to be here with the community. Uh, this is good for my brain. This is good for, you know, just uh, socializing in this rough time. Um, I hope you all had fun. If it's your first time here tonight, give, consider giving us a follow and coming back and checking out our other content, which will be tomorrow night, Neural Nexus Zero, our cyberpunk adventure set in 1980s Boston, a retro wave cyberpunk type uh, setting. Uh, on Wednesday, you will find us back here in high, a high fantasy Pathfinder one game uh, ran by Dabdathos featuring myself, uh, Amanda Amanda, a bunch of other good players. Uh, and on Thursday, we have our, you know, I mean, I got to be honest here. I got to be honest. Eat a bricks. Uh, Luna, Gamer Mom Luna, uh, our community manager, has done a wonderful job of uh, fostering a community based around the Tales from the Tavern, which is a uh, a show where she gets to sit down and talk to people in the TTRPG space about what their projects are, what what they're doing, uh, what their you know thoughts on TTRPG content, and uh, just you know some good all around nerdy talk. It's a it's a wonderful show. So we'll see you there on Thursday night as well. Um, There's going to be another giveaway this week. We have somebody coming on who who paints minis, then they just give them away. So she wants to give away a bunch of them. Can I enter? Sure. Can I win something at some point? 
and and, and time on my channel. Can I win or something? I, no. I I have a feeling I'm excluded from everything. What do you guys think? I I won yeah. I won <laughs> on the last show and you said no. I know, I know. <laughs> You've actually won That's a couple okay. of things, Mihai, right? Yeah, <laughs> I have, but I haven't. <laughs> um, I will step out from that. We, I was actually very gracefully offered uh, uh, one of the spell trackers from Arcane Spectacles, and I declined and, won, and wanted to go to the cast member who could actually showcase it on stream. Um, but uh, we, I, we are lucky here, you guys. What do you think? We are pretty lucky. Um, lately we've been having, uh, companies reach out to us with product, wanting us to try it out and, try, and, you know, uh, we're going to have a one shot coming up, uh, for a product. What was it? Fires of Athlon, Peter Bricks? Yes. Fires of Athlon. It's another, uh, TCRBG, um, system, um, that we've been asked to review. So, uh, like the last one we did, I think Atomic Zero is going to run a one shot for that. And I think we got a, a, a lead on a cast for that already, but. Um, we're going to have to set that up. And I know he's busy. He's working on the Star Wars stuff. So, um, you know, we, uh, but I'd like to see that. It's fun. It's, these companies are reaching out to us with these, you know, these smaller TTRPG, TTRPG cre uh, creators. And we get to play with some really fun shit. So, um, yeah. Uh, so we have some fun stuff coming, guys. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for those subs. Those Thank, thank you for the donations, those bits, and the Patreon subs. Uh, you know, uh, Patreon is a great way for you guys to support us as far as little as $1 a month. And Patreon takes the least amount of money from everything. A Twitch sub gives you, uh, is $5 and we see two, $2 and 50 cents of that. But Patreon, we see 95 cents, uh, on the dollar for everything that comes through on Patreon. So thank you guys for the support. It allows us to do some wonderful things and showcase some great content. Um, but again, my name is Mike. This is how I nerd. And we are going to go show some love to somebody in the community um, we're gonna go check out Cobalt Press. They have about 30 people watching their channel right now. Uh, let's go see what they're about. If you enjoy the content, drop them a follow. As always, let them know that how you're coming from the Howl Nerd channel and uh, yeah, Howl, Nerd, Howl Nerd channel, Ow. and uh, you know, show them some love. Let's. Uh, this is a great community, and we and all uh, ships rise together. So uh, I'm gonna kick off that raid. We're gonna go over to the ending screen, and uh, thank you to everybody once again. Uh, we love you guys, and uh, we'll see you in the Nexus tomorrow night. Bye, guys.